have questions, concerns, comments from last uh, session before I kind of bring us up to speed. I think everyone uh, was was enjoying the nice, calm, serene, pastoral, flowing fields of, of green and amber grain going as far off as you could see. Well, not that far off, but quite a ways off, rolling through the hills, and then the hills kind of off behind that, blanketed in forests of trees and copses here and there, and stands there kind of in the gaps in the valleys of the hills that always were off to the peripheral or off in front of you, but you never seem to get much closer to it. And mountains just off, just, just beyond that. Uh, the sky is, is cloudless, bright, just a, a breeze, uh, not quite a breeze, not quite a wind, pleasant moving air, uh, floral scents abound, bugs and shit going everywhere, and this seemed to go on for um, an maddening amount of time before you finally arrived at a, looked like someone uh, basically took a collection of rubble and piled it upon the ground, and your guide, Adamok Ebon, has stated that this is the, the passage, this is the gateway into the town. Um, sir, I thought you were oh, raising your hand I was there. thumbs up and I, I, no, you're good. Uh, I was just you're good. We're up. good. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, um, that's basically where we left off. I, I don't want to spend a ton of time going where we last were because <clears throat> the age of the interweb, you can find it seven days ago on my Twitch channel. You can find it a couple days ago on YouTube. If I, I highly recommend you go get caught up. But anyway, last time on the broken sigil. Last time on the Broken Sigil, uh, I'm not Yvonne. Gonna... Has... But try. yeah, the plus side was we had two new people introduced. If you haven't been following along in the previous, uh, or if you have been following along in the video series, you might now be looking and going, hey, there's two extra screens on here. Um, and that was the addition of our buddy Pes Pesky Phil, who was playing Reginald, yes? Yep. Paragon Rogue. Shut up, he's not a wallaby. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've also we, we also have Katie Bear, who is rolling uh Tiki the Thrike Cream, correct? Yes. Yes, okay. okay. So uh folks at home, she's she's our newer player, so be patient, understand. I think I thought it was really important if we're playing a live play. Let's bring someone that's wanting to learn about D D and interested in and just kind of remind us the awe and wonder of playing. So, uh, and we're going to have fun with that. Be patient across the board for everyone and relax and just play and have fun. But yay, let's get it rolling. So you've made it yeah, along. Katie, with, said, just... I was just going to say, yeah, Katie, don't be afraid to say you're not sure what to do or say. It's totally fine. Everybody is here to back you up, okay? And, and those that may be catching us and joining us live or wherever you're at, um, it should be obvious at this point, but and you know it may stand to be stated, we're not professional here. We're just a bunch of of, of dudes and chicks speak hanging out, yourself. having fun playing D and D. Yeah, speak for yourself. Oh, speak for yourself. Damn. Oh, what's up, pros? Okay. <laughs> I you know, didn't you, do a whole I, I, hour and a half stream earlier with the wrong title on. Crack. crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> but more to the point, a lot of times on Facebook and Discord chats and, and even on Twitch, it's like you look for uh, what's D&D &D like? What's it like to play D&D? &D? You're going to see that here. Um, we'll go through a 10-minute rule argument. We'll go off channel for 15 minutes and just laugh at stupid shit. We'll have emotional moments. We'll be talking about the rules and the mechanics of the game. That's what D&D &D is, man. The stuff that you're watching on Critical Role, God bless them, uh, Dungeon Brothers and all that. They got like a 15 person crew running their shit. You're catching, you know. So understand, the, if you watch Harmon Quest live, you know what I'm talking about. You know, if you watch, watch the behind the scene where it took well, four hours okay. for them to make a 30 minute episode, that's what this is, y'all. <laughs> that's more. Harmon, Harmon Quest is, is like second edition. It's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not this. He's trying to kill this. Week. Well, I, mean, I just went more the pacing of the game as far as, yeah, yeah. you know, oh, how yeah, yeah. you would genuinely go. Are you even playing D&D &D anymore? Um, you know, that's part of D&D, &D, y'all. <laughs> I, I will say that 100%. Um, I can't think of the, the DM's name from that series right now, but I stole the, the you do that from him. <laughs> yes. From Adventure Time or Adventure yeah. something. Harmony is the one, yeah, one we're talking about. Harmon Yeah, 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 yeah. You do that. Yeah. <laughs> that I, I, I love that because, like, like the Duck you Dynasty do that. looking dude. Yeah. <laughs> yep, absolutely. So, history of people. That's all I'm saying. Never mind. 
Amen. Dis- disclaimer out of the way. We're here to play some Dungeons and Dragons. So Adamok has brought you to the room and said, you know, kind of looks around and kind of does a heavy sigh as you look forward. And first thing that catches your eye is a very large lion, maybe about 80 feet away, um, gold, almost whitish, platinum furred lions, uh, st- st- you know, just le- laying across the top of a ruined wall to the northeast of you. And, um, you know, you, you look off to your right and you see another trio of them just lounging in. Uh, almost as soon as they take note of you, you take note of them, and or vice versa. A um, couple very large vultures kind of cowing off, and uh, uh, Adamok kind of sneers and says, Okay, well, um, good luck. This is your first lesson in the Beastlands. Okay. Things here Pray. care about... Th- I've well, told you. Pray. No, I- things here care about three things. Can they eat it? As she smiles and looks at the heron gone and, and looks over <laughs> at the yeah, uh, point down. That's and, 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 and looks over at the or I'm sorry, she looks at, at, at the Thrike and she looks at Tiki and she looks at uh the the Kalashtar and says, Are you food? And then she sneers and she looks over at the Haragon and says, Can it mate with you? <laughs> and then she then she smiles and says, Or are you a danger? Outside of those three things, you don't exist to an animal. And that is their reality. If it can't I'm be sorry, eaten, it lot. can't eat them, and they can't screw it. They don't care. Uh, everything here knows that about me already. I don't qualify on any of those three. I can walk through here at ease. Um, you guys might have a little bit more of a uh, challenge proving your place in the food chain. Um, I can't help you, but you should be okay. Um, so, yeah, follow the path through the ruins. Don't stray too far off the main path. It'll get... A little bit confusing, and you'll find yourself in Fawnel if you survive. I'm sure you will. I hope you will. Good luck, no. little wallaby. You're gonna need it. And she kind the of triple s- threat. <laughs> and she kind of smiles and kind of makes her way. And the the you notice the first lion stands up and <clears throat> snarling at her. And she even kind of pauses for a second, like, "Am I actually gonna have to fight this thing?" And it kind of cows back a little bit, and she disappears off into the ruins. So, uh, Thank you for the increase in existential dread. I- I'm loving it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry. You're going to be living for quite a few more hundred years. You're fine. Did I put That's on my part of the problem. Oh, I'm sorry. I put right on my um, Unless so, yeah, something uh, happens here today. We're using we're a homebrew campaign gosh. cartographer 3 mapping software that I just simply adapted for a shareable virtual tabletop. Uh, it works for what we need to do. It's not the fanciest, but hey, here we go. So, uh, map is up. The lions, as she passed by, the lion up on the ridge starts rowling and yowling, making the lion noises that they supposedly make on National Geo and shit. Right? And and rar gur ar garg, and the three off the side immediately kind of tense up and and get on their haunches. And I need you guys to roll some initiatives, please. Okay. Dang. Um, I have also, a note that you have mage armor, Josh. Yes, I was going to say yes. Thank you, because I, I I was going <laughs> to that's what I was about to say actually. Oh, Tiki rolled 20. 18. Oh, I rolled a 25. 25 for... Oh, I'll take it. 20 for Adam. 13 I've... for Anita. I've got a 16. 16. Oh, wow. Plus 6 to initiative, actually. It was a 19 on the board. Oh, sorry. If I cut a Haragon's feet off, do I get lucky? Okay, good. You get no. real lucky. Uh... They're very big feet. <laughs> <laughs> that comes with big luck. Okay. <laughs> like Reginald. <laughs> Let me set mine right quick. Oh. For groups. For simplicity's <laughs> sake, I'll be running them by group. All right. Do you remember when you used to have them a piece of keychains? Do you remember that? Yeah. Yep. We can give them an offering. Uh, Let's feed them the wallaby. Somewhere in, in my house, even still. That's horrifying. Why would you carry a severed foot on your keychain? Why was I, that okay? I don't know. Why was that like I don't normal? have no clue. I, I never, I never did it myself. I thought it was bizarre. I never There's did it myself. There's lots of things that happen over time that should not ever be considered normal. That is one. Right? But it was like, oh, okay, yeah. Put it on your keychain. Uh, I'm now. lucky. Right. I have eight. In- I mean, we also used in- to skin animals up. and wear them, so I mean, hey. <laughs> We've done some weird shit also, with animals. Oops. The person that discovered um, the raccoon hat. Right, no kidding. <laughs> Just turned it so yeah, but welcome to the stream. If if you guys are catching me, I do want to put a disclaimer there. I'm I am running a game, so if I don't chat with you, I apologize. 
uh, got five different things going on as a DM does, but no, please don't think like I'm, I don't appreciate you being here. Or <laughs> shut <laughs> up, man. Yeah, hey, let's go. You got the There's AD. Rabbit running got today the AD. Now. So yes, Reginald, you are up first in the initiative. You notice the group of lions off to the right seem to be uh, hopping up and and getting ready to pounce. But seeing as you have the initiative, it's up to you what you want to happen. Five foot squares as usual. The walls are <laughs> fifteen to twenty five feet high. Uh, the thinner ones are fifteen. The taller ones are twenty. Uh, the thinner ones are fifteen. The thicker ones are twenty five. Uh, the stuff that's on the ground is on the ground. Uh, not a lot of cover to worry about as far as difficult terrain or anything like that. So trees are high enough to where the canopies are above the battlefield. They're not providing any cover okay. below unless there's aerial shit that happens later, i.e., you know. The five vultures that I've mentioned that you may have forgotten about. But go! Uh, Nothing to worry try. about, man. A nice springtime day. The ruins are up. Lions are roaring. Go! Can I shoot that one in front of me with a firebolt? The one that's, like, directly in front? This one here? <laughs> yeah. Or how far... How, where do I... 10 have foot, to 20 to foot, 30 foot. That's about 40 foot to hit them with a firebolt. I have fire 120 bolt. feet. And then you got range on them. You're 40 foot on range right now. Okay. You can shoot a firebolt uh, at the 18. lion. 18. 18 will hit. Oh, that one damage. <laughs> you gave it a sunburn. <laughs> one damage. Wow, okay. Uh, you hit it. You hit it. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's the end of my turn, I guess. <laughs> you hit it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, huh? <laughs> 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 not very not easily impressed book follows up in the second part of this you're up for it's, the second it's like the magic one thing like the snake circus one and it's the puff of fire that comes out the tiniest bit oh, <laughs> with <shit>. the paper <laughs> what are we doing book with your 23 on initiative 23 there? holy crap i didn't realize i was second um <laughs> i rolled really high on it it was like a 17 or something like that. i have a plus six i'm a war wizard man i'm really fast um <laughs> Let me get as close as I can to that line that he just fired at. Alrighty. Book will move in and go in 10 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot. Is that okay? That'll work. And I'm also going right to there. firebolt right. him. <laughs> oh man. Okay, jump that cat. Gonna show me how it's done. <laughs> Gonna get a little bit closer to use it. Uh, 15? 15 does not... It does hit, my bad. Oh. 15 does hit the lion. Okay. Wow. Uh, 10 damage. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> you can fuck, Phil. <laughs> 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 Is that the end of your turn there, sir? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's all I can do. And that's all you're gonna do? Alright, then that's gonna bring us to person number three, which would be Tiki. Tiki, you are up. Now, I did not, we, we have your cannon deployed from our, our practice. You did not have that deployed at the start of our thingy. All right. Uh, That's true. I was going to go ahead and um, pull him out, though. So I okay. use my bonus action to do that. And I'll move him uh, 15 towards those three lions. Okay. Okay. And then... What kind was he? Was he the flamethrower oh. or the, the power ballista he... or was he the Healy one? He'll be the he'll be the fire one. Okay. Yeah, we're going to so, do the fire one. Answer. Your little dry cream digs into her bag as something does her ticky, ticky, ticky sound and mm -hmm. you see this strange thing that Please. closely resembles her build with a cannon top on it. <laughs> get her off across the battlefield. A little tiki. Yeah, a little tiki. I elbowed, I elbowed Nina. I was like... She's got a little sense of cute. <laughs> I don't know how baby? I feel about shooting at these lions, but I mean... <laughs> it's a, it's Tiki's child. It's really effective. <laughs> it has legs for yeah. hands, and its head is a gun. And then the child. <laughs> I like. <laughs> it's, got, it's got like the ditto face. Okay, it's got oh like my god, face. that's amazing. <laughs> like Just a wide smile with dot face. eyes. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Head uh, opens up the smile. The, it, it splits at the smile, and the flames are going. <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> I'm into it. Perfect. Hell yeah, man! 
All right, that's canon. That's canon. You must remember this for your canon. <laughs> really? Canon for your canon. <laughs> oh, no, it's a canon event. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, so you've moved it as a bonus action. You cast it and move it out. Um, you still have movement and action for yourself. Yes, I am going to move my, I think it's 30 feet. Okay. Towards the three. Ten, so I can get a little bit closer. 20, 30, or do you want to stay behind book? Um, no, I don't want to be in the way of my little tiki. So that's that's good right there. All right, so you've got some. Uh, you're you're kind of there's a tree trunk between you and the enemy, it's a canopy mm -hmm. slightly above you, smaller tree, but large shrub, small tree. But you're good to go. End of turn, or are you going to use an action for something? Um, I think uh, is the is the tr the tree in the way of me um doing a crossbow? Nope. Okay, I would like to do that. Is he he's eighty range? Is that enough? That looks yeah, good enough. Uh, 10, 15, 20, Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out my crossbow. I'm gonna shoot at it. Poor little kitties. <laughs> and I, I'm just clarifying. This is the only time I'm gonna clarify. I just press the little hit slash DC thing, right? Yep. 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 Okay. Oh. Fourteen, 14 will hit. Oh the well. On. Yes, it will. And then you hit the damage shot. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> 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 Nine. Damn. Get fucked on how I go. <laughs> <laughs> and then I look over at Book and I use my telepathy and I let him know, hey, my little cannon's right behind you. You might want to get out of the way soon. Cool. And that will be everything. <laughs> and end of turn. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> you are the in the cone of flame. <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually going to bring us to the, um, the vultures. The <clears throat> first one smells blood and starts cawing and cawing and, you know, screeching and something. And a group of them you. starts just moving around. There's just, they're climbing. They're gaining altitude right now. They're not moving laterally, but they're definitely with the roars and the screech of pain from one of the lions and the smell of blood filling the air. The smell uh, of singed uh, of vultures. <laughs> the smell of Why singed fur. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and uh, one whisker that got burned off by one point of damage in the, uh, the, uh, um, the vulture yeah, starts circling around hours. a little bit. Not, yeah, right. I'm going to be honest. I was half expecting him to hit that line and for it to immediately turn around and be like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, just start talking out there yet. It's all set up. Who does yeah, that? You get to the beast and go, Damn, are you fucking for real right now? What's up with <laughs> your peoples? <laughs> all we did was growl at you. Yo, you set us on fire. <laughs> Damn, Who you two-legged bastards. No offense, bug lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's actually going to be that at the end of that, which is going to bring us next to Adam. Okay, so the three things we got told were they it's not a bother if we're no danger, if they can breed with us, or if they can eat us. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Adam putting on lipstick, get it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Run campaign! <laughs> I know what I have He's to do. Over the bugs. <laughs> like when Bugs Bunny dresses like a chicken shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All I can That's think about is uh, All I can think about is that, is, that, is, that, is that I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> alright what's up what's up Adam yes you are correct uh, the, as the bladeling stro st uh, strode through the, the ruins not being ever slightly st startled by one of the lions but other than that she walked through unmolested and unbothered she said uh, things of the beast lands all they care about is can they eat it can it eat them and can they mate with it the raw basics of life if it okay, is good. not so I'm, not, I'm, not food, I'm going to follow the path Oh. oh. <laughs> I I would just Ten like to foot, remind you that you foot, are a man made foot. of metal. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I didn't say I wasn't going to attack. <laughs> that was that just, that just puts me that puts me right in line, anyways. Okay. Anything else? Uh, javelin time. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. We're throwing it the one up here on the ridge. That's not twenty. The yeah, the oh, one yeah. that's um. Up on the ridge. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you were attacking the same lion. Just like fuck this one particular lion. 
<laughs> one poor yeah. line getting his ass kicked, right? All right. That well, that's definitely gonna hit. I don't like the sound these dice make though. Fourteen. I don't know if I have those. Oh, Damn, nice hit. Right set. Ah, end of turn. End of turn. All right. I don't like the skinny slapping sound that it makes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you've moved forward and you've thrown a javelin. Uh, hit the hit the line up on the ridge, engaging him. A uh, yowl of pain, and and uh, that's going to be that. End of your turn, which brings us to actually the lions now. The first cluster of them, anyway. Yeah, oh, yeah. This one's going to take its in in instinctive action and go towards the closest target. Book, you are being clawed at by a lion. Well, that's right. And, ooh, I like these dice. I'm thinking a 22 is going to hit you. Yeah. And I need you to take uh, five damage, please. Okay, that's fine. Ah, damn it. I'm dumb. That's okay. One of them had to be first. Oh. You're good. I'm, I mean, I'm good. You're not good. Uh, the yeah. next one. Five foot, 10 foot, 15 foot, 20 foot lead off will instigate Rubber. the pounce. If the lion moves at least 20 feet straight towards a creature and then hits it with a claw attack on the same turn, which I'm going to try to do. Does a 14 hit you? It does not. Then fucking never mind. Thanks to shield. <laughs> <laughs> All of that build up for nothing. Aww. Um, oh, you gonna laugh at me, Bug? Five, ten, fifteen, Aww. twenty. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I, I couldn't, couldn't hear in a Bug straight laugh. Line. I had to... Laughing now. <laughs> I couldn't run in a straight line for Pounce. So he had to jump down off of the ridge and go slightly around a tree, but they can still. I'm gonna try to bite you. And I'm rolling a 15. Is a 15 going to bite you? No, it is not. Ah, so. And that's the end of those lions. They leap into action, slashing and missing on a dive, jumping and paw attack, and the third one comes around the corner and tries to take a chunk out of your Thry Cream buddy, and that's it. Um, that's going to bring us now to Addy. Okay. So, I'm still not sure about how we're attacking these people so are these lions so um i'm just going to go into wild shape okay and i'm going to take the chalice form okay so um I, I take the starry form chalice whenever i cast a spell using a spell slot that restores hit <clears throat> points i can also grant 1d8 plus 5 hit points to another person within 30 feet of me. And okay. I'm going to move up to where, um, maybe just like right next to this bush or tree or whatever this is, like almost uh, not quite on the opposite side of it. As North, we, east, kind of, south, west, east, please. East, east, one, two, three, four, east. No, up one. Up one. Okay. I should no. I should be within thirty feet of everyone now. And you're not moving me, you're moving Ashley. Ten foot twenty five to here. Five, if you go to here and no one else moves, you're good. Okay. And I'll yeah, I'll just stay there. And then end of turn? <clears throat> yes. End of turn. All right. And that's gonna bring us directly to Addy to close out your team, and then I've got another group of lions. Nita. So, Nita, excuse me. I, I'm still conflicted, but uh, I guess since they're technically attacking, I will move up next to Addy uh, on the north side and try to get the lion that's headed towards Book with Chill Touch. He's got or two not of Book, them. Adam, sorry. Oh, this one up here? Yep. Okay. That that's a ten. I don't I don't think I hit. That's not gonna hit. I'm so sorry. That's okay. That End of turn. I'm okay with that. I don't want to hurt lions. All right. All right. So <laughs> yeah. the last group of lions. Um. Well, this one's been engaged, so he's gonna come back in. <clears throat> five, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Not straight line. 
these two are kind of getting up from their stupor, not going to be involved yet on this initiative, but we'll be joining the next <clears> initiative <throat> in all likelihood. So we're going to go... Why does that keep happening? I'm so sorry. I get a blink effect every once in a while. Uh, a claw attack against our 17. Does that hit you there, Sir Adam? And that's the end of that lion's turn. That's the end of round one of combat. As a matter of fact, the start of round two will lead us back around to Reginald. Yeah, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Fuck you, Bun Bun. <laughs> um. Hippity hoppity. Hippity hop to it. Hop to oh it. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> um. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I we'll explain later. Oh. After we're not getting killed by lions. Thank you. You can use the bonus. Uh, can I use steady aim for this? As a bonus action, you can give yourself advantage during next attack roll on the current turn. You can use this bonus if you haven't moved during this turn. Your speed is zero until the end of your current turn, so I can... Yeah. So next advantage. turn you can move, this turn you can't. Yeah. So I can use... Correct. I roll for advantage on... The on thing one attack. Do. Yeah, okay. Yep. So I'm going to try Firebolt, the one in front of Adam. Is it? No, hold on. No. I think it's ranged attacks, not spell attacks. Oh, it's... Double check. Okay. You might have to use a bow. Ranged and melee attacks, I think yes. Spells, no. Give yourself... Inf on your next attack roll, that's what it says. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, technically you can yeah. do it with a dagger <laughs> with something saying right in front of you. Okay, so yeah, so I can? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, that is a 17. 17 that's... will hit. Okay. That's with the plus? Yeah, that's with the plus. Or with the 5 advantage. and the 12. The advantage. Damn, that sucks, brother. Okay, but that does hit. 17 definitely hits okay. them. Uh, free damage. Wow. I love oh, that. You're doing great. I Don't forget sneak. Oh, no, you can't. It... Sneak no. doesn't work on no. spells, I think. Oh, right. Doesn't he it? did yeah, well, that's right. You did a spell. Never mind. Because I was going to say, because he had advantage on but attack. You don't, mind, but he did a spell. Yeah, he had advantage on the attack, but he did a spell. If yeah. you hit with an attack. attack. Oh, no. Yeah. So if you hit with an attack, does that count? Do you. Do you I, oh, I kept that coffee. I'm not going to give you a backstab attack on a spell cast from 30 yeah, no. feet in front that's, of the brother. Yeah, no. no. Sorry. No, 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 no. That's, <laughs> that's where I got to play DM and say. Yeah, no. The shitty writing of fifth edition, notwithstanding that, just is. I mean, we allow yeah. some stuff. But sorry, brother. Get a get on flank and use a use an arrow. I might have let you do it. <laughs> the sneak okay. attack bonus. Yeah, sorry. End of turn. End of turn. You gonna stay there? Um, can't move. Actually, I oh, can't he can't move because he's yeah. sharpshooter. All right. End of turn. That's gonna bring us around to a uh, book. All right. You gonna let me hit both of these guys with burning hands if I cast it? Please. Will, will Burning Hand hit them both if you cast it? 15-foot cone? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I would think um, it would. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, mm, shit. Yeah. Let me do it. Yeah, let me do it. Uh, Dexterity saves throw of uh, 14. You're going to shoot a cat. Ow. Something that requires dexterity saving. I know. I, I know. Like, I feel like I know. Morgan I know. Freeman's in, in Dark Knight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Good luck with that. I'm kidding. Oh, and I talked some shit and failed the first one with a freaking eight. Six plus two is an eight. The next one is six plus two is an eight again. Holy crap, I failed them both. Okay, well, they both take shit. 13 damage. Okay, Sasha dice. The dice gone yeah. smile upon us. All right. Damn. <laughs> I need to change my dice. 13. What's up with my Tasha dice? Let me down, man. I need bonus action shit. <laughs> Should have stuck with the super cool purple dice. They they bother me because they're not symmetrical. <laughs> they you know just what? bug me because they're the lines aren't even. <laughs> they really are, yeah. I like and it. Then they're chaotic. I'm gonna I'm gonna help our, our shooty shooty bang bang person and I am going to uh back up to Nita or Addy, I mean. Are you you gonna take the opportunity attacks? Yeah. Yeah. That, that way they can get in with their with their little turret person. Okay. A little ticky. Okay. Because it also is a cone attack. <laughs> Our commander has told us to move. Oh, the first, <laughs> yeah, right. You got the re responding reflexively to the battlefield command. The first one rolls a one plus five on its claw attack and misses with a six. Oh yeah. Oh, are you shitting me right now? It's it's time for a dice change. 
Oh, four plus five is a nine for a miss. Volk is the beefy boy. Feel that. <laughs> Shucking and jive. Matrix I'll right be, out the way. I'll be back. Super team power. Sorry. All right. Um, that's going to be end of book, which is actually going to lead us to uh, Vultures. Then Adam. Ah, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Tiki. For me. Did we skip Tiki? Yes, Tiki, yeah. then Vultures. My bad. Tiki, you're up. Thank you. My bad. You're right. I did forget about okay. the Vultures. I forgot about it too. Okay. Um, if he shoots from there, will the fifteen feet go? Let's say five, ten. Hypothetically, I think it would. If you move one more, it's a guarantee, at least. Yeah, if you yeah. move one more, it's a guarantee. Okay, let's let's move him in five-ish feet. Yeah, double we'll him. Let's, let's just blast him. Nah, so I fire him on my user. And I'm going to roll a seven on the first save. Are you fucking kidding me right now? And an eight on the second save. You need to change your dice again. I hadn't changed them yet. I was just talking. Oh, about that's it. why. I was trying to, was trying to scare them. <laughs> that's wild. So there was four right. eights in a row on saves. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Wrong screen. I just fucked that all up. Damn it. Uh, that was technically... Uh, Yes. Yeah. No, eight, eight, seven. There was a seven in there as well, oh, and then yeah. another eight. My bad. Yeah, there was a seven oh, so you... mixed in there. I was looking. I was like, no, no, I had a six and a nine, but those were my two hit rolls. <laughs> okay, my bad. <laughs> so, man, yeah, you, it's okay. It it's you still almost rolled six eights in a row, then, if you had another eight and a seven in there. No, I had a seven. I had a six and a nine in there. I've got okay. eight, eight, six, nine, seven, eight. Jeez. The fuck is that, dude? <laughs> But that's Definitely. two dead lions, is what that is. Hell yeah. All right, you still have movement and action. Okay, so I'm going to... Damn, attack... some bad dice. Attack the lion that's right next to me. Okay. With my... My infused dagger. Okay. And... Ooh, that... Ten? Ten is not going to hit. Okay. Well. Oh, you don't need any. Shoot. <laughs> okay. Um. I will end my turn. Alrighty. Yeah. And then yeah. that brings us to the vultures. Actually, you know what I need to do. Oops. Is my own stupid rules. These are now cooked lion. We'll just offer the lion's bodies up to the vultures so we can get more. I'll offer your body up to the lions. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40. That's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> yeah, so you notice, well, he's not going to, he's going to be a little farther away, but yeah, you notice this first vulture immediately goes off of it, circling uh, and starts heading towards the thick of the fight. And likewise with uh, 40 ish. I'll get you a little closer there. Sorry. Reminds me of that time I offered up to that bird in Strahd. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> All right. End of the bird's turns. Bird, bird, bird is the word. <laughs> that will now bring us to Adam. You channeling your inner Chucho over there, Andrew? Yep. All right. <laughs> Everyone's jealous, man. I got this beanie for free, might I add. Um, right in time. Doesn't matter where you get it, it's all in the heart, man. <laughs> that is a 24 to hit. That will hit. Oh, wow. Five piercing down. Uh, he's... he's. He's seriously hurt right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to drop a smite. It's only the beginning of the day. I don't want to drop a smite. End of turn. We don't have right. second attacks yet. You can you can nope, get back your spell slots on a short rest. Actually, as an action, you can do it. Two of them. Or one right now. I don't want to fucking waste my channel divinity. I, I got cool stuff with my channel divinity. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> okay. Damn. Don't backseat paladin me, man. Damn. So, <laughs> do I get to it? Yeah, recover sacred knife during assault. All right. Yeah, so if that's the end of. If we're done with Adam, that's going to bring us to Nita followed. Uh, Nita followed by Addy. Me first or Addy first? Yeah, I had done that backwards. You should have gone first. I think you got it backwards last time. Yeah. yeah. Need a okay. follow by Addy. Uh, I, a lot I'm of initiative. Gonna... We got 11 steps in this initiative. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going to try to protect Adam and go for that lion again with chill touch and hopefully have better results this time. All right. Uh, 30 20. Hell yeah. That's Ooh. definitely better results. Let's see better time. Uh, I'm doing Reginald level damage. So <laughs> 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 you're, bringing the, you're bringing the Reggie to the heat. <laughs> pulling her pants over just, here. Well, you may I just, be like, a party a whole like, day and you're already... Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I changed my dice. Hopefully I roll better. Uh, I'm not changing enough. my dice. We're going to have rabbit stew. You guys are only level four, so I don't need to like be rolling for, <laughs> so, <laughs> for real dice. <laughs> Is that, is that what it is now? When you roll really high on an on an attack roll, but then you roll really low on your damage, just pulling a Reginald. I know yep. that's what we're damn it. No, we are not starting. <laughs> <this. laughs> no, you are cannon. Too late. Welcome, we're to there, Welcome to Planescape, Pesky Phil. You have started a a terminology. But anyway, no. So if that's going to be the the end of Every you, campaign Nina, has are you one thing. Thing. Yep. Are you gonna stay there? <laughs> All right, Addy, you're up. All right. Has anybody taken damage? Nope. Two two lions are dead. One's pretty badly maimed. Uh, vultures are starting to circle in and swoop down into the carnage. But I think your teammates, aside from Book, are relatively intact. Okay. I'm okay too. I've only lost five health. I am a wizard, though. Yeah. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. Um. Okay. So. I am going to cast Entangle on. So let's see here. Remember the if you're flying on the on vultures, the vultures. They're, yeah. they're still flying. They're in the they air, right? Ground. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Yeah, that, I was going to do the lion. These three lions here. That it should. These two are dead. These two are dead. These two are dead. Oh. They're upside right. down. They're going to be eaten soon. Yeah, they're, oh, they're so buying. Sorry. All right, I am not going to cast Entangled, and I thought those were still alive. Okay. Um, okay, I will instead cast Moonbeam. Oh, and oh I'm going to cast <laughs> it. Um, I'm going to cast it. So if you go one, two, three, for five squares to the east of where book is, that's where I want to put it. Here? Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. You're going to hit the vultures. <laughs> is that okay. your plan? Oh, okay. Yeah. Out of character, what is Moonbeam? Moonbeam is okay. an IOA. Yeah, read it. Um, yeah, let me read it to you real quick. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. awesome. A silvery beam of pale light shines down in a five foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder centered on a point within range, and the range is like 120 feet. They don't know. Uh, they okay, just dim light fills the sound there. When a creature enters the spells area, and that includes my teammates too, so be careful. Uh, when you enter the spells area for the first time on a turn or start your turn there, anybody, it's engulfed in ghostly flames, causing searing pain, and it must make a constitution saving throw. And if it fails, it will take 2d10 or have as much when it's saved. If you Stay are a shape changer, okay. yeah. If you are a shape changer, um, the safety, the saving throw is at disadvantage, and it instantly reverts to its original form if it fails. And it can't assume a different form until it leaves the spell's life. And It'll be on great on turn, Yeah, yeah. So, um, and on each of my turns, after I cast it, I can use an action to move it up to 60 feet in any direction. So, there it is. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. There it is. Oh, All right, so yeah, right. please don't move within five feet of that big red yellow blob. <laughs> or put a little ticket. Got it. Okay. Is that turn. it? End of turn? Yep. 
And that yep. is the end of you, which brings me to the group of lions number two. The first one is pretty uh, seriously wounded, and it has been sparring with our boy Adam mm -hmm. here. I'm going to switch off of a claw and try to bite him this time. Oh, map, so your map is way way off to the side right now. Yeah, your, your oh, map's way off to the side. I see a shadow demon or whatever the fuck that was. No. Uh -oh. That's your girl Blade Lady. Oh, 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 y'all are oh, all okay. panicking and shit. Damn, y'all paranoid. It's <laughs> fine. Oh, no. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> we so much. We um, panic. It's fine. Right? Fine. That one attacks and misses, and these are going to start charging in. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Do they have 30 or 40? I think they only have 30. Oh, fudge! They got 50. I was about to say that big. Oh. They, they should be able to run. 35, 40, and I'm going to use my pounce attack. Uh, 20 feet straight is met. Claw attack 18. makes me met. 18. 18, I believe, misses. Second. Never mind that. Misses. All right, so the, he is at his 30. Bad kitty. 35, 40, 45, 50. And we'll just go with a simple bite. He did not get his straight line movement, so we don't get pounce. And a one plus five for a six. Goodbye, Tasha Dice. You have not rolled above fucking. Goodbye, time. three lions. What if you <laughs> I don't think you've rolled above a fucking uh, a ten. Oh, at modified, I haven't rolled above a ten. Yeah, that's what I'm this saying. is silly. You know. That, no, I'm gonna leave him. That's okay. I'm gonna leave him. You guys are still level four. I need to just keep. Oh, cool. I didn't mean to roll okay. that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good so, kitty. So what you're telling me is that I can't. Really, I really don't want to handle it. <laughs> because I can add that to my next attack. Cool. Um. So that's going to be the end of that round, and that start of the round three is going to bring us to Reginald first. The lions are in. The 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 vultures are circling in. I'm sorry. The vulture's going to get you, man. It's going to pick gonna, you up and take you away. I'm going to go straight ahead and try to hit that lion that's right next to Adam. going to go You're right moving in? It. Yeah. What's the vulture? Go for it. Oh, you want flank? Yeah, flank. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right. Optional rule. You get advantage. We're gaining an advantage, yep. yep. It is an optional rule. Um, dig in your DM's guide on it. There's no official ruling on flanking, just so you know. Uh, 24. That'll hit. Don't forget and... your sneak attack now. Yeah, I know. I know my sneak attack. And that is 12 damage. That's respectable. Hell yeah. And then my sneak attack damage is 7. Damn. Seriously Finally. heard it in, in one little, uh... What's <laughs> <laughs> a regular roll now, huh? Who rolled a regular roll? Who rolled a regular roll now, bitch? <laughs> And now he's rolling. Uh, and, uh, All right, that's going to bring us to book. All right, uh, move me into the right of Atom. All right. Damn, I was just going to wear the right in these fucks, but okay. All right, I don't think I'm going to hit it, but we're going to give it a shout anyway. 14. What are we doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, to what? Before I do that, green green flame blade is what I'm doing. Sorry, and then to the the line right in front of me. Okay, fourteen will hit. Yeah. Um. So then that is nine damage, and then uh the line to the left of it will take four fire damage from green flame left blade. It is the badly wounded one. All right, he is barely alive now. Pretty badly wounded. Pretty badly wounded. End of turn. End of turn. Yes, sir. Uh, to the north of Adam, that line is looking horrifyingly bad. To the north of Book, that line is looking moderately hurt. To the um, to the east, it's looking seriously hurt. So the three lines are looking pretty rough. The vultures seem untouched and unfrayed. That will be the end of Book's turn, which is going to lead us to Tiki. You still have a line in your face, Tiki, and you've got some vultures circling around towards you. You're not sure if they're coming towards you or the fresh kills, hoping them. But what are you doing? So I'm gonna try and hit it with my infused dagger again. Okay. See if Immediately it attack. Out. Yeah. Eighteen. That's gonna hit. That'll definitely hit. 
And we'll go for oh five. <laughs> All right. And that's on he's he's still looking pretty uh <laughs> pretty intact over there. <laughs> End of turn? Um yeah. You don't want to do anything with your cannon? I I yeah, let's move him uh fifteen feet. Is that west? East. 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 Sorry, I didn't know that's how we call it. I just pronunciations. <laughs> <Weast>. <laughs> Weast, yes, weast. You want to move it to here? Oh. Did you want west or east? West. Or west, okay. Weast, yes. Like. <laughs> west or east? West. <laughs> That's, yeah, there you go. Confusing. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. That way. <laughs> 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 I'll start saying that's Weast probably that will be the one thing that drives me to buying a VTT is so I don't have to do this here ever she wasn't again. Raised that way, Jim. It's not her fault. <laughs> Turn left at the Seven Eleven. That's what she understood. <laughs> fair, honestly, no, fair. I remember never eat soggy waffles. Like I used that. What? Said, what? And then, oh. and then I was like, yes, Weast. You know, like on never Spongebob. eat soggy waffles. Yeah, I, I did watermelon. My brain hurts. I've always done watermelon. Yeah, never at the top. How the actual fuck are any of you guys dungeon masters and you can't tell the difference between northeast, south, and west? I do. The I said I do never eat soggy okay. watermelon though. I don't do waffles. <laughs> oh, okay. I let my players control my tokens. Shame. I love the watermelon one. That's pretty good. Never eat anyway. soggy wheat pieces. The Australian version. <laughs> <laughs> so you have you finished with your turn there, Tiki? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. That leads us over to book. Wait, book is already gone. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I'll go again. Cool. That means we have vultures. Oh shit, vultures. Uh. So when they move into here, what happens? Boom. My name, Cindy. Uh, they need to make a Constitution saving throw, please. They get turned into fried chicken. Yep. We're gonna be set on food here. Not Got ready for some wings. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Now they're gonna be combatants involved in y'all and not in the other thing. Okay. Cool. Why do I got ugly? Fuck, these dice suck too. <laughs> I refresh my shit. All right, so a five is going to miss for the first one. And a 18 will miss, make it. So, yes, the one here, this first one that entered failed. What happens to him? Oh, he takes 18 Ooh. damage. Oh, Damn. Oh, and then the one that, the one that passed get, takes nine damage. All right. Thought you were so no, fucking body. I'm sorry. Didn't you? I'm sorry. I wish you hadn't flown through there. Yeah. I was hoping you would just, you know, like it was so. Yeah. I, was I like, went towards hey. the light. So that was okay. five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say what, mate? One beak attack. <laughs> Yo, that oh, was shit. You? That, where'd that come from? Um, who is that? That's Addy, isn't it? Do, what page was the rule on the DMs guy that I couldn't kill you? Uh, uh, they, they were, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's in the player's handbook for the wife one, yeah. The break, oh. the beak attack hits you, you take five damage. Okay. The talent attack is probably going to miss you with a ten. Yes. The second one who took the damage is going to continue flying towards a meal, unhindered. Mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, because they're dumbass birds. Give me a roll. Uh, I need to make the roll for the same damage. We'll just, just be quick on it. Oh, same sure. Yep, he's going to make it. He's going to take 9, and he's now going to be pissed off as well. And uh, yeah, continue like flying anyway. through. Uh, 20, and shit. We'll just keep... I don't want Nita to feel left out. <laughs> uh, You're so kind. Uh, you got 14, mushrooms growing off attack. Here. <laughs> That'll hit. And that's gonna be a total of four damage. A talent <laughs> attack. Oh man, I shouldn't be using these odd dice. Um mm. the talent attack's gonna hit you too. Okay. And that's gonna be six damage. I could have been left out, it was fine. That's real rude. Oh, uh, you know. For future like... reference. 
she never. You gotta be inclusive, you know. It's, 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 it's yeah, super, right. su super rude. I I would have gotten over it. <laughs> hey, look! It's coming for the little rabbit. What a surprise! <laughs> Wait, I thought he was uh... a wallaby. Oh, I'm not talking as Adam. <laughs> Beak attack. Seventeen. Is that going to hit you, Reginald? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> and that's going to be four damage. Oakley, Oakley. And it buries its talons into you. No, it misses. I hope with an eight. Oh, yeah, it's going to try and pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> Carry you away. Oh no. And that's the end <laughs> of round fun. three. That's all of the Reginald. Four. <laughs> so as the fight goes through, uh, three of the four vultures hit the the um, I... moon beam. Two of them are enraged. Did you go? No. Well, you should. You brought why everything did... over to attack me, and I didn't attack anything. Why would? Oh wow! Why would we have skipped you and gone Nita and Eddie and all of them? I don't know. Go, go. That's fine. Said so this is the downside of six players and five groups, four groups of combatants. Man, it's a lot of initiative. They always track each other's initiative, but they don't ever track their own. And then they make you feel like an asshole because they're telling you when the other people's initiative is, but not theirs. <laughs> Go. What's okay, up, player? Let, let, let's eliminate the one that's hurt. Never mind. That's a not two, two plus six is eight. That's not going to hit. That's End of turn. Miss. End of turn. Damn. Okay. You're up. I got it. Don't Next worry. round. I, I get up. Huh? I was telling him I got it. Don't worry. Okay. Well, Reginald, you are up. You've got a bird on your back. You've got a cat in front of you. Uh, your people are engaged. Some birds are hustling around <laughs> over. Uh, large vultures are hassling your two druids, uh, climbing, you know, landing in the trees and pecking at them and clawing at them. What are you going to do? Uh, a card tree. No, I'm going to stab this bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this is your card. <laughs> 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 like, <it's just> like... <laughs> 16. 16 hits. Take a card in the card. Now you have given the lion advantage. Uh, seven me. damage. Okay. Seven damage. Anything else? I don't think I can do anything else, so... Turn. Okay. Next up will end up being Book. Alright. Followed by Tiki. So, move me into flank on this lion. I know that I will take an opportunity to attack unless you let me go between the two of them, but... Which lion? This one? That one, yes. Yeah, you will take one opportunity attack as a reaction from that one. And yes, I'm going to take it, because I'm losing this fight so badly. No, that's fine. I just wanted the advantage so I can hit totally this fully. 15's going to miss, I'm assuming. 15 hits. Oh, psych. Let me go back to damage. Did you have my armor? Yes, I have 13 as my standard armor, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. A swat with the claw for, for a total of <laughs> one plus three for four damage. And okay. uh, continuing on, yes, right, you've so gotten flank after the opportunity attack. So yeah, 20, 21 damage. 21 damage? I'm sorry, 21 for, to hit. I'm sorry, not 21 damage, 21 to hit. <laughs> I'd say, what the actual shit did you hit? So that's five I, mean, I don't damage. disbelieve it, but what spell slot did you burn? <laughs> um, that's, uh, five damage to the one in front of me. Four damage to the one beside him. Okay, the one beside him to the north of you is now dead. Get wrecked, line I didn't hit. <laughs> right. And this one over here is considerably more wounded. End of? Yes, sir. All right. Book is done. That is leading us over to Tiki. Tiki, you're up. You've got a, a lion in your face. Vulture's Busy chewing on the bodies over here. Your friends are getting attacked by vultures there. What's up? Um, yeah. Uh, we're gonna move my little little tiki back to like right south of these birds. Okay. Um, and then we are going to. Um, I gotta get rid of this lion. I'm going to get rid of the lion. I'm going to try and stab him again. Hasn't worked the last two times. Let's see if it'll work this time. 25? That'll hit. Yeah. Okay. Six. <laughs> uh, moderately hurt. 
It doesn't seem like, but you've been kind of chinking away, chiseling away at him a little bit, bits by bits. Cut death yeah. of a thousand cuts, but yeah, um, he's still hanging tough. So, uh, artillery move? cannon. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I can do. I can do. I can do him now. We moved him, yeah, and you could use your bonus. Remember, Wait, when you yeah. use your bonus action, you have to move and attack with him as part of the same. Got it, got it, yeah. Yeah, let's let's sh shoot the cone, but let's shoot it in a way that we don't hit the ladies. Um, my yeah. friends. <laughs> okay. Dexterity rolls, yes? Yes. 15. I, I don't know if this is a thing that you've thought about for your turn or not, yes. um, but you can put it on people. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I can put it on other people? You can yeah. make it a predator cannon. Yeah. That's what, yeah, it's on legs right now, so you can have it stand yeah, on it, someone it, else. You can climb straight surfaces. It can even uh, be upside down on, on a ceiling. You can only move 15 feet on that unless it's standing on someone, which can go their movement speed instead. Correct. But we didn't want to go that deep with you on yeah. day one, day day two stuff, so. But it, it that is something That's why I was asking that, so. somebody to log know, in with us I'm the sorry. other night so you could teach her all of this shit. I've only begged for two weeks, but whatever. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 Completely <laughs> play. We have plenty of sessions for you guys to help her out, man. No worries. So, uh, Lion is still up. Stuff like this so you can be on top of her instead of having to angle it. If you were on one of them, you could shoot it and not have to worry about mm -hmm. them being hit by it. So what was the damage output? Oh, did you did you not make the fifteen? Yeah, they both say they both failed. Okay. It is ten. Damage. And they're golly, they are bad, 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 bad hurt. I am but still alive. Burning. The tree's on fire. Everything's on fire. You caught the tree on fire. You caught the tree on fire right outside of the major. Ooh, Ooh. shit. Sorry. You're in trouble. Fine. Remember, chaotic things makes us move quicker, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, they good. Right. No, and I think, uh, I think that's, that's end of turn, I think. Well, no. I don't know. If I move, I have to do what kind of... If yeah, you I'm move away from them, you're giving him a free attack, an attack of opportunity. That gives him a chance to hit you as you go away from him. But Okay, I'm going to just stay. Yeah, end of turn. Okay. Sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes you're yeah. like, I don't want to give up that attack of opportunity, and you end up getting hit four or five times standing there trying yeah. not to get hit. <laughs> yeah. go, were you going to say something uh, down there? Yeah, um, am I after Takey or am I after the animals? Which you're going to be after the vultures. Okay, yeah. Just trying to remember with where the yep. vultures came in and whatnot. Yep. <clears throat> so Tiki is done, which leads us to the vultures. Hell yeah. These two vultures are eating. They're busy enjoying sounds a snack. Like a, sounds like a cool band name. <laughs> what, two vultures, vultures eating? The, no, the vultures. <laughs> right. oh, the vultures. We already got the eagles and the scorpions and the beetles. Big attack against our heron gone. A 12 will probably miss you, correct, Reginald? Yes. I'm sure a 23 is going to hit you, though. Nah, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, son. Yes, this is the talent attack. Uh, <laughs> you're, right. taking, you're taking 10 damage. I, don't, I, I didn't like hear no bell. They're not, they're not big enough to carry him off out here. Don't worry. Yet. That, that happens when you get to the inside the beast land. <laughs> yeah, we need to find rocks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that vulture took his turn taking chunks out of you, man. He's like floating around enjoying a rabbit stew while... You're dealing with the lions. Um, the first group of the lions has been dead. Next vulture is attacking uh, Nita. And then the last one will attack Addy. Big attack against Nita. The first one is going to be a 14. That hits. Ooh, shit. And that's going to be six damage. <laughs> and the talent attack is going to be an 11. That misses. I hate the way these purple Yay. dice are rolling, but they're definitely, or look, but they're definitely rolling better. Addy, mm -hmm. big attack against you is... Oh, that's bullshit. It was a 22 and it becomes a 9. A 9's going to miss. I can't even see that one. Uh, it's going to be a 16. That hits. The, where you get the, fl that the light comes across the side of it perfectly. You can't even see the damn number on those freaking purple dice. <laughs> uh, that's going to be 6 damage, ma'am. Is there any concentrations that are up right now? Uh, 
Or is that a transforming thing? Moonbeam is a concentration spell. Oh, wow. I need you to make a DC, uh, uh, just a con const concentration check, please. Constitution save, DC 10 or better. Hell yeah. 17. Moonbeam is unaffected. Uh, end of mine. Adam, you are up. Okay, sweet. Uh, the one that's on the Wallaby's ass. Uh, oh, man. Threaten time. That's a good band name. <laughs> Wallaby's ass. <laughs> Wallaby's ass. <laughs> All right. Okay, so with advantage that makes twenty-five. Yep. Jesus. And I will be doing a smite, so that's ten. Why did okay. I not know you were using a trident? Why did I? Not, I just now realized that it's bad as fuck, man. I dig that. <laughs> hey, other paladin that has played before is a two d eight. Yes. For smite, yeah. Right now it is. Yeah. Unless you use higher slots. Oh, you can't power it up with uh, higher level slots yet? No, yeah, it, okay. it, goes, it goes up as you level up. Wow, a solid three radiant damage. Cool. Moderately hurt. Uh, end of turn. End of turn. Uh, so yes, this one here is badly hurt. This one here is moderately hurt. These two vultures here are very badly hurt. This one here is untouched. And no, wait, Phil got a stab in on that one. Just and these ones have not been involved yet. Just out of curiosity, Jim, how much HP does a peasant have? Four. Oh. That's what I thought. An average, an average of four. See, y'all, you got to remember that number is a fucking average. They have an average of four. They can have as little as two and as many as nine. Right, right, right. I'm just saying, like, like average. I'm just saying that these yeah. these vultures have more HP than a peasant. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as peasants in Planescape. Everything is at that level. You're edible. Fair, fair, <laughs> to everything. Fair. I mean, honestly, fair. I was just thinking that was yeah. Entire, like I yeah. could have killed a human faster than we killed these vultures. But yeah, we've talked about that though in the okay. past. I mean, if you were a, if you were a serial killer by rights, you should be an 18th level character for all the people you killed for the experience you gave. Right? No, that's fair. You know. Even if they're just commoners, they're still one eight CR. That's worth twenty five XP a pop, hypothetically. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> no new adventure ideas. Stop. <laughs> All right, so uh, that is the end of. We we'll that later. Adams, that's, that's the end idea. of the vultures. That should bring us back over to Nita now, correct? Yep. Followed by Addy, which would be the end of that round. How What's up? high up is the vulture to the north of me? To this one here? Yep. Just a couple feet. He's cause he's doing the the kind of so dodging hundred... down through the tree branches and grabbing at you and you know, just the squawky the un the unreal okay. fantasy bird flying when they kill us thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then I I'm just gonna use chill touch again, hopefully, right. maybe. Oh, twenty four. Oh, that hits. Please do damage. And and I Reginald, three damage. Oh, do you know what that's going to be? I can hold a Reginald. That's going to be enough for that one. Yay! I did a thing, but I'm very comfortable <laughs> about doing a thing. <laughs> End of? Anything else? End of. And then All I, right. I turn here. <laughs> All right. Addy, you are up. Okay, I am going to cast Heal, uh, not, well, Care Wounds, on um, Nita. <clears throat> nice. 13, you get back. Hell yeah. And uh, because I did that, I am going to also do 1d8.5 on myself, which was 13. Jeez. The healer standing in the middle are getting jacked up. Everyone else is running around. <laughs> And as a bonus action, I'm gonna move the moonbeam. Um, it's a horrifying they, moonbeam. We were already yeah. fighting other things. They got themselves in trouble. I'm just saying. That's why we to it. So if I move it over where those two lions are. Can we do it in such a way that it does not affect Adam or Book? It's yeah, no, you can pull it over us. It's at the start or during our turn. 
Yes. Right, right, right. But I'm saying, I was saying, can you position it over those two lions to where it won't get you guys? Well, one of them is dead. So... One of them is dead. The other one is almost oh, dead. I didn't see it was the other one is down. moderately hurt. No, it's okay. That's Probably okay. better off where the vultures are. Do you want me just to stick them over where these vultures are eating? Your, your choice. That, the I know that one of them's already hurt, like eight. And... Okay, yeah. Go ahead and stick it over the top of those vultures Alrighty. over there that are going to down. Okay. Get wrecked, vultures. End of turn. That's hmm? right. what you get for walking funny. <laughs> <laughs> they just coming in for a free meal and you lighting them on fire and shit. <laughs> they looked at me wrong. All right, is that it then? The government spies. Don't let them lie to you. Yes. <laughs> that was the That's end of agents. round four. Start of round five. Well, no, I've got one more line to two lines to attack. I'm sorry, I forgot about them. Uh, first one is going to either. One, I guess you turn the back to hit the one on that. So that gives this guy flank on you there, Adam. We're going to bite. Uh, a dirty twenty is going to hit. I'm not going to roll for the crit. Well, does the dirty twenty hit, or do I have to roll? Dirty 20 hits. 1d8 plus 3 on the bite, and that is... Ooh, shit, that's going to be 9 damage, sir. Okay. And the other one is attacking Phil. Ah. Advantage. <laughs> uh, we're going to claw Broham there, who's busy fighting a buzzard. I rolled a 7 and an 8 plus 5, so does a 12 or a 13 hit you? No, it does not. Fuck a bunch of that shit. <laughs> yeah. oh, At the, the end of round, on my side. <laughs> that's the official end of round four, start of round five of this fight. What do we got? Uh, that's going to be starting with Tiki. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. It's Reg. Reg. Let me stab this bird again. Oh, what if we all called him Reggie for the entire campaign? <laughs> Reg Reggie. Oh, I'm anything but a Aragon. Uh, 16. Does that hit the bird? 16 does. Come on. Give me a good roll. And that is 8 damage. Nice. Pretty badly hurt. Pretty yeah. badly hurt. What's this? Nothing. Fuck you. Anyway. Uh, yeah, end of turn. All right. That is then going to bring us to book. It's not going to mean... Followed by Tiki. It's not going to mean anything, but I'm going to uh, do Booming Blade on this one. There's not another line within five okay. feet of it, so it's not worth me hit doing that. Um, I st I'm still in flank, okay. right? Yep. Yes. Sweet I took baby. flank, so you have flank. All right, so that's a 19. That is going to hit. And that is a big old three damage. Dang, y'all! Stop rolling Reginalds, guys. Have him, uh... Reginald roll! Have him, uh... Have He's him still move five seriously feet. wounded. Have him move five huh? feet. It'll be okay. Have him move five feet. <laughs> have him move... You want him to move five feet? Yeah, I man, just, just, just moves five feet, then he the, the booming blade goes into effect. <laughs> okay. No, I can't. I'm sorry. He's 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 keeping the <laughs> flank that you got that you gave him that we got. Well, it's like a train here, man. You got flank on him. He got flank on him. He got flank on him. He got flank on him. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, end of turn. Yeah, 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 that's all I can do. All right, that's gonna bring us to Tiki. <laughs> Tiki down here struggling all alone against a fucking lion. <laughs> it's fine. It's I'm fine. for my life down here. Yet, though, has it? <laughs> um. It hasn't yeah. hit her yet. No, has it hasn't hit me at all. It's fine. I don't think it has. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. She, I've just been mildly, got... you know, nicking it. How how badly is it injured again? About halfway. About halfway. Okay. He's In he's taken question. he's taken twenty eight damage, and that's about halfway. Okay. Yes, they're um, buff. How, how many rats would you say? <laughs> Well, if do your math, if Contin if he's halfway hurt and he's taken twenty ish damage, how much damage do you think he has total? Content, not yeah. sure. <laughs> All you gotta do is twenty ish damage this round. You'll be good. No, that's, that's, it. that's it. That's all. Dagger time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Was that twenty? <laughs> it's, it's not working. The dagger isn't working as well as I'd hoped. Um, well, it's okay. 
You got spells, you got cantrips, you got your, your candle. Yeah. You got lots of stuff yeah. you can do. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna move um, little Tiki 15 to the east. Into here. Should I take the opportunity attack on little Tiki? No. This bird's fighting for his life right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna fire blast the the lion. Okay. Without without oh. hitting me, obviously. Yes. Let's yep. be honest. Yep. And I'm going to roll movement. 17 for my save. So I'll take no damage or half damage. Uh, I think it is... And fire no. bolt, the fire bolts no, is, is no damage. Cannon. Fire oh, fire cannon. Flame flame Flamethrower. Uh, half damage. It says... Do you remember, Josh? I'm sorry? She, she's going to read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> flame cannon, do, is it half damage on save? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Or is it all or nothing? I believe it's all or nothing. Oh. I'm honestly not 100% positive, but I think it's all or nothing. Half as much on a successful oh, one. Oh, hell yeah, then. Yeah. Oh, uh, that might be why I always damage. lose it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so, it's been like I still do the roll and take half. Yep. So, seven. 14, seven. Yep. Nice. Okay. All right. And then, now he's looking seriously wounded. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and stab him. All right. Ah oh, shit. Seven. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. God damn it. <laughs> End of turn. <laughs> I guess. All Good. right. It's fine. <laughs> that leads us to the vultures. We'll take care of the ones in the in the circle here in a second. I'm in a duel with a rabbit right now, and <laughs> I mean, it happens. He's bite me. attack, all right? A bite attack. Ah, oh, thirteen. That should miss, huh? Yep. I fucking that twenty keeps hitting and flipping and hitting and flipping, <laughs> y'all. Someone's gonna get critted tonight, man. I feel it. And here comes the claw mm -hmm. attack. Oh, that's gonna be a nineteen. I'm betting that's gonna hit. Are you attacking? Maybe. <laughs> Still, uh, I'm attacking Reginald. Reginald is taking six damage from the claw attack. I fell. And the lion is shit. He's going to wait. It's not his turn. I know what I need to do later. Bird. You know what? Birdie, birdie. Disengage and live to fight another day. I'll come back to eat food later. Ten foot, twenty foot, thirty foot, forty foot, fifty foot. Uh, saves, constitution saves for Sunbeam, correct? Moonbeam. Moonbeam. Oh, I love <laughs> Starbeam. <laughs> yeah, we're no kidding. 20, hey, the, the damn Star beam. beam. I, ma I made both That'll saves. Be. What happens? Off as much. 16 yeah. and a 19. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. Hang on just a sec. I got there you. Go. There it is. Thing is, these guys are no longer... Okay, so a damage. Okay. A damage. All right, that's enough I mean, to kill one of them. Yeah. It's enough they to finish just... off the first one that was that was hurt by the beam initially. They were just having a snack, man. <laughs> you know? Oh well. <laughs> Be thorough, I guess, ranges. right? <laughs> Fuck around, find out. I know, brother. Just trying, brother. Just trying to eat. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> End of turn. Oh Stop it. <laughs> For my vultures. Yes, that's the end of my turn, which now leads us to Adam. Yep. All right. Um, this one turned to face you, remember? That no, it mean. didn't. No, it didn't. Wasn't their turn yet. Wasn't their turn yet. I meant to. That's right. Oh, okay, cool. Sweet. Time out. So, yeah, sorry, I still have advantage then. Cool. I'll yep. just do that. Um, right. Oh. That is 25. Oh, yeah. yeah, that hits. That'd be six piercing damage. And man, okay, you got a couple more you can do. <laughs> no, let's do a smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please don't drop a three again. I would feel really bad. There, that's respectable. That's enough. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes, you that's smite right. this lion and kill it, and it's down. End of turn. 
Hey, All right. average. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Book, did we skip you? Uh, yes, actually. Yeah, we did. I think you were supposed to be after. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed yeah. to be after Reginald. Yeah, you, you did. You should have gone before Tiki. Go ahead. Oh. At least we're remembering when we're skipping people each round, getting better. Mm -hmm. Uh, twenty-two to hit, and yes. Uh, I was wondering damage. why that one was still alive. Because that's why that one's still alive. <laughs> If he would move five feet, he'd be dead, probably. Maybe. <laughs> he's really... He's almost closer to being... He's closer to being dead than he was last turn. Does that help? <laughs> yeah. Uh, end of? Yeah. I'm just saying All I would right, do 1d8 so thunder damage out. if he would just move. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Your boy's standing in the same place that he's fighting, dude. All right. Adam has gone. Book has gone. I threw myself off Reggie and... All right, it's my lions, which are all dead. It's my vultures, which have already gone. Adam, I'm over here that just whapping it with a fucking stick. Rawr, stop it. Rawr, stop <laughs> it. Like, 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 like. Doing little, all right. little damage. <laughs> Nita, you are up, followed by Addy. Okay. Uh, the lion north of me, that one's not upside down, is it? No, that one is still in combat. I moved all the okay. tokens that are that are dead just for convenience. Now that okay. the vultures have been engaged, there's no need for them to find stuff to feed on. So, okay, then I am going to cast Chill Touch on that lion. Hopefully, that, that's a twelve. That will hit. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we want to do that. that. <laughs> And that was enough to, to finish it off. And then I start like just sobbing intensely. Fucking made me snort laugh. Oh my god! Life expectancy has expired. <laughs> well, that's... Is that it then? That's it. Addy, you're up. <sighs> I don't like this. Um, okay, I am going to. I don't know what to do. Do you have someone down there getting their butt kicked repeatedly by a lion? You got three guys up there fighting. It's a not repeatedly. They haven't actually hit me. That's true. That's they true. They were not a fist so There's no there stress. Talking. I'm saying, yeah. She's down she there. Good. She, she, she she's good. She's one of the beefiest the people out of us. She's good. She's looking like the cricket in Mulan right now and shit, man. Same. Other fists are meant to be one of the tankiest classes. No, I am not lying. In the morning. I got this. I, I will. Um... You're. I'm not stuck in here with you. You're stuck You're in stuck here. You've got a bunch of other people that are hurt above you, so I don't know. It's your call, man. Yeah, but... that's what I was going to say. I was going to move up to where um, to where the little bun bun is. You're within 30 little feet. Bun of, bun. Oh, you need to touch him. That's right. Bun bun. Yeah. And oh, I'm going to... Um, little bun bun. Get rid of the bilby. What yeah. is a wall? I'm going to cast Cure Wind on the bun bun. Okay. Yes. Please. Whatever it is, it ain't right. Okay, so you got eight hit points back. And let's see here. Another creature gets hit points that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's trying to figure out who to heal. There's so many people on this one. <laughs> um, eight. Probably original, honestly. Oh, wait. Maybe the original, yeah. Um, I, why are you, I'm going to give the other one to Book. Okay, um, sweet. Cool beans. So. I'll take Nita it. Nita got took up. You know, she got chunked on by that freaking vulture, too, man. But okay. I'm good now, I restored, though. That, oh, I restored her last got, time. 11. Right, how much you got? You, 11? Uh -huh. Damn. I believe that puts me all the way back and... to Max. Yeah, it does. Hell yeah. Thank you. End of turn. Cool. All right. Yep. End of turn. Make sure you're marking your spell slots. Cool. Uh, that it. is. Okay. Just remindings. That was the end of I round five. It. Start of round six. Tiki. Nope. Reggie. I'm gonna stab this bird. 
Go down. Come on, man. Come on. I, I need like eight more damage out of this. Oh, 20, I mean, oops. 20, 22. That hits. Come on, give max damage, and that's eight damage. And he has that, that, that gigantic pigeon, mediocre sized vulture straight in the chest as it falls to the ground dead in front of you. Squawk! Uh, <laughs> All right. End of turn. Angry bun bun. Ah, yeah. End of turn. If I ever get uh, arm sure, as a spell, it's going to be that Bugs Bunny thing where I go Mwah! and then run away. <laughs> <laughs> right on the What's kiss. The book? <laughs> okay, so uh, move me to where I have line of sight on that line that she's fighting. I, I have 120 feet. As long as I've got, got line of sight, I can hit it. <laughs> sure, there you go. That works. Sure. All right. 25. The trunk won't be a big deal. 25 going to hit. Come on. And max damage. Nice. 10 damage. Damn. Right, thank you. Oh! <laughs> you stay away from our commander. <laughs> End of turn. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Kiki, you're up. This lion is in really bad shape now. Rawr. All right. Well, let's just Rawr. toast it. All right. Go for it. <laughs> Are you using the cannon first? Yes. <laughs> that was a good one. Ah, uh, 12. I think I failed my save that time. You did. Take that 16 damage. damage. <laughs> oh, snap. You took that in the face. Take it. Well, I... <laughs> I look like a little it. tiki. I'm like, why couldn't you have done that at the beginning? <laughs> all right. Boom. You need to get yourself. All we hear is he's gonna be dead. Sorry. Yeah, all, all you right. hear is <laughs> everything has been removed from the board. And that the is initial wave of monsters seem to have been dealt with. You're lucky, Wallaby. That bird was gonna take you to breed you. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so we are way. actually at the halfway point. That was almost perfect timing. Um, so let's go ahead and, and pause for a second. Everyone that is joining us on stream, appreciate you guys being here. Apologies if I hadn't been able to engage. As you can see, running six players and three groups of monsters, even at lower levels, uh, can get a little bit mixy up and confusing. Um, you know, they're, it is what it is. Good job, y'all. Those are all your highly technical streaming terms. All right, y'all survived your first uh, little encounter. So, yeah. um, do we level up? No, I'm joking. No, not yet. No, I'm just being a fill. I don't know. Do you want to be level five? <laughs> do you want to be level five going out into play into the outer planes the first time? Let's no, because that it. means you can I'm with Josh. We've been playing long up. enough. I'm good. Nah. <laughs> nah. I don't want to force a level up, no, but yeah. If we earn it, then yeah, but otherwise, nah. Yeah. yeah. No, that was that was three those lions and vultures, man. That was nothing. Look, you only got like Deadly. one third of the saying, man. I didn't see no fucking tigers or bears in there. I need you to do. I ain't you know, you know. Still, Yeah, you still got like three whole planes, three layers of a plane to go through, and then a trip to Carceri on the side. So yeah, you guys aren't going to see anything near. This is as, as civilized as you guys are going to see for the next. I don't know how long until you guys finish this. So good. Uh, oh, yeah. let's go on break now. And yep, uh, we'll take we'll a break. We'll be, be right back, back in a few minutes. Hello, new person gonna, just came uh, in just in time for us to get a break. Oh, you're right. No kidding, right. man. And if you're if you're over on my stream, apologies. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it. Again, I take I, I uh, humble apologies. I'm not able to participate. Too busy being a D, DM. So sorry. Hopefully, you're enjoying the show and uh, you know like, follow, and all of that kind of I'll stuff. Be a smart man, but I. <laughs> You'll get back to where you belong. Don't worry. Calm down. Everybody, calm down. I, I do not. I... No. You don't know me. I don't know you. That's I'm my gonna purse. Shrink you down, Adam, because for some reason I need you to were find there. that damn series somewhere. I hadn't seen that in a long oh, time. They're Watch about to bring it out. Yeah, they're about to do more. Time. Yeah, they're about to do more King of the Hill, and they're doing a time skip, and Bobby's going to be an adult in it. Futurama started again. I need to go watch that. To the, to the Futurama Discord doesn't start Andrew. again until July 26th. I don't know. The first know episode you. came out. No, nah, it comes out in July. Because I, I know that it comes yeah. out while, while Sam and I are going to be on vacation in, in Canada. I already talked to her about it. I need more, <laughs> I need more disenchanted in my oh, life. Man. When are you going on holiday to Canada? Uh, July 22nd to 29th. Okay. 
Everybody's nice. where they belong now. What part are you are going to? Toronto. Like, Toronto. Oh, cool. uh, yeah. I've been near there. Kingston, I think. Where are you going? South. I know nothing about Canada. I, I've only been there once. It was very cold. <laughs> All I know is they call their cops. Mountain. It's pretty, dude. It, <laughs> if you get a chance to Mountie go down always to Fort, gets there, man. If you get a chance to get down to Fort Henry and Kingston, Ontario, they've got like they call it the Thousand Lake, uh, the Thousand Islands. Yeah. It's like where the big, uh, I guess, the last lake there so the feeds out into the larger. Side. Dude, it is so fucking cool. It just looks like a, a river the size of a lake, and you're breaking into the little oxbows, and there's like just 50 little bitty islands with houses on them. And bo- I mean, it's freaking cool as hell to sail around in that. You get on a big old old style paddle boat steamship and cruise around through it. It's a neat tour. It's a pretty place, really pretty area. But anyway, we are back. We are ready to go. Uh, our team has dispatched. The enemies, and uh, you remember what Adamok said, follow the path. Jeez. And um, it will uh, lead <laughs> through the ruins, if you pass your tests, into Fawnel. Yay! Of I'm course going to test. Great. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. We just committed murder. <clears throat> Do uh, remind we me. committed <laughs> various war crimes. No, you committed various war crimes. <laughs> we knew what the crimes were. We did not commit them. So, follow Commander. the path. Commander, you are in charge now that the general is gone. <laughs> oh, goody. All right. Onward. Let's go. <laughs> which path? Uh Oh, Oh, like you want me to choose which path? Oh. <laughs> Reginald Wallaby, ooh, you would ooh. take no Let me go the one less traveled. Just... <laughs> Wait, no, shouldn't we go the one more traveled? I was trying to make a Robert well, Frost joke, and now I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did, that, did that not land with anyone? <laughs> no. You know, there's. it's kind of quiet when the fight st- first started. There's the cacophony of birds squealing, <laughs> squeaking and squawking and flying around in the air, and as the Sparks went boom, and the column of God Death Sunbeam came down and blew stuff up, and and the big vultures got blowed up and killed, and one flew away. It's kind of quiet now, and still, and strange feeling. And as you look behind you, um, you know the road stretches back the way it came, and you know it looks the same, similar to it how it did. But as you stand in front of you, there are two paths that lead further into the ruins. Oh. Nita's gonna turn around and follow the path away. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna follow her. Oh, uh, uh, guys. <laughs> I do not believe that is the correct direction to go. Never eat. So- yeah, it's this way. We're going to go find zombies. <laughs> oh. Their army. Oh, okay. I come back. No. I have been intrigued. <laughs> oh we got to go. We just gotta figure out which way. <laughs> Hopping along the bunny trip. Excuse me, we have you been here on its way? Hmm? I said, excuse me, we eat hoppity I said, excuse me, we eat beaver. Which way do we go? Just gonna ignore him and start hopping down one, the path straight forward. <laughs> this one here? You would no, think with one. those long ears it would be able to hear me, correct? The other one? Yeah, the other one. Alright. So Reginald starts hopping to the path that goes towards the north-ish, I guess. And steps on the trap. In reference to where you are. Okay, Phil, we want you to stay 20 feet ahead of us at all times. <laughs> no, 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 this again. <laughs> Just step on a trap fall into a pit of lions. It works. <laughs> I, I trickle on behind him. Okay. I Why guess I follow. Let's. Yep, I I follow out. the little bunny from the blue. Why is it always my character taking the lead in every campaign? I swear to God. <laughs> because you're impatient you're and you go in front of everybody you else. Like, you know, right, that's it. I'm a rogue. I'm in the back. What am I doing? <laughs> so, I guess I'll keep hippity hopping down the bunny trail. <laughs> keep hippity hopping oh, down the bunny trail. <laughs> What I was going to say? No, I was going to ask him what what uh, what Rogish archetype he took, but clearly he took arcane trickster. If he's going to be a mage, yeah. yeah. 
I was going to ask him, but I was like, it's obvious. <laughs> All right, so you guys continue going through the ruins, uh, large walls, thicker, heavier, taller walls. The road continues winding through some more ruins and kind of comes to a dead end in a, in a large grove of trees. This is a nice wall. You're off the map a little bit, hypothetically speaking. It's very nice that so these like castles are so well intact. <laughs> As we see rubble everywhere, the castle is so <laughs> intact. <laughs> is this your house, Beaver? So you return, follow the trail back, think, assuming that that was a dent in, and you get back into the ruins, back to your starting point. You guys can continue your conversations while we're moving, obviously. Do we need to do the chaos thing where everybody does weird <laughs> movements? Everyone, run in different directions and don't let anyone stopped, know what you're I doing. I stopped sir, running yes, sir. in a circle. Oh, sorry, like, right <laughs> serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. Oh, no, I'm not allowed to say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Do a couple right. of spins, and I notice a couple of shiny rocks on the ground, so I start looking at those. <laughs> the ADHD kicks in. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> <laughs> so shiny. do you want to head back down the road you tried to begin with and see if the random movements triggered something, or do you want to try the other road? Yes, we'll try. I guess we may as well go the way we didn't go yet. Yeah. 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 Okay. But I don't just walk up and like hopping. It, are there are these any any of these uh, walls like low enough, or are they all pretty high? These most of these are really high, fifteen foot ruined. I mean, they're not like perfectly squared. T anywhere between eight and fifteen foot high on the thicker ones. The smaller, the thinner sections are, you know, three three foot to eight foot. Most everything is rugged and beat down. These are just more visual representations. There's not a single wall that is even across its top. You can One tell time the area. I might play a bird person to get the bird's eye view. <laughs> <clears throat> Piles of rubble everywhere fall. <clears throat> you can even see some some timbers that have been overgrown with, uh, you know, vines and ivy and all of that kind of stuff as you move through. And, you said uh, 15 feet. Sorry, guys, I can only jump 10 feet. Oh, that's out of my right. I could throw you. <laughs> and you continue along, passing a grand tower off to the left side of you. You look inside, there's a strange stone altar. Uh, sitting in the middle of go touch it. Are you gonna go touch it? Do it. Yeah. I believe that again. is an egg. It's an egg. Culture eggs. It looks like an egg. Please, yes. dude, I I know where this is going. It is a little I'm... funky around here from the simple fact that yeah, the vultures kind of roost and nest up along the the top of these ridges, and you know, despite the the there's like you know the streaks of bird poop that come down all the old walls and the black stains from the the water runoff and everything, and the altar seems remarkably clean compared to the remainder of this room. I Who touch, wants it. To touch it first. You touch, I touch it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I take Nothing happens. <laughs> I take my feet back. Nothing happens. Are <laughs> there any markings, rune? I think. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's some markings kind of along the outside edge of it. Nothing that you would really. I mean, nothing that immediately seems obvious to you as far as a language. Um, what you can what try to decipher something out if you wanted to. Give me a. Give me a. No, never mind. You're an Eberron. It's just completely detached <clears throat> from this world. You wouldn't know anything here anyway. Sorry. Uh, yeah. No. It is made of rock. Click, click. Yeah, the There's stone, no the, the, it's a perfect, it's a slab of rock. Looks like natural stone that was dug up, wasn't even really carved aside from the outer ring where these strange little hieroglyphic runes are cut all the way around the outside of the, uh, this large slab, about 12 feet across, uh, 12 feet long, 5 feet across, sitting up on a couple of other rocks, acting as a base. Perfectly level, perfectly looks smoother. It, it's smoother than it looks. When you come up on it, it almost looks like it's kind of ripply, but as you get closer, it's not like shiny I, smooth. But yeah, and you touch it and it doesn't, you know, it just seems to be an altar type thing. But it's not like a, a ghost comes jumping out of it. Go ahead. Lay on top of it. Sacrifice. No, I'm joking. Ava, you should get on top. It might teleport you to wherever we're to go. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you said there's Can runes on the table? Can I do like an arcana check on the rune? Yeah, but he's lying down. I'll get him. Um, honestly, if you guys want to, you can. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's it's more of a a, a multi dimensional language, not a regional. So, if you guys want to go ahead and give me some uh, history or arcane, one or the other, not both. 
one Damn. each. Let's see what this I got. is very generous, guys. DMs at home. You Off may when you got a group of six people rolling. You may as well just freaking tell them. Odds are one of the six players are going to roll high enough. Oh. So oh. this is an academic activity. If you're playing history, history, history or what? History or arcane? Is that what you sorry? You said history or arcane? Yeah. I got a nat twenty. Yeah. I got a twenty-two. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, well, I mean, you recognize them as as kind of TWO, not TOO. <laughs> yeah. Uh, an ancient. I do you speak Sylvan? Um. <laughs> no. Oh, you know what I do have though. If you guys wanted to hang out for a second, I got comprehend language. Ain't nobody got time as I hop up now, Jake. If anyone can speaks like Sylvan, you would recognize it as an ancient dialect of Sylvan. If you don't, you would recognize it as something similar to something you might have seen. With a with a roll of 26, 20, 22, you recognize it as Sylvan-esque ancient runes type thing. Uh, but certainly not discernible unless you have the time to learn how to speak the language or fluently speak the language and it take a little bit of time to translate it. And okay, I, so you know, like a Klaatu Verata... <clears throat> Here, I'll do, uh, I'll do Comprehend Language. As long as you guys are cool with me hanging out for 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hippity hoppity. All right. So you sit down and begin cast uh, a ritual casting. 10 minutes. Do not worry. I have this. <laughs> which, which one of you has the like, best like a high, like a honey luck? <laughs> Luck. I mean, luck. I mean. Who's the shortest? Probably the rabbit because he's got two lucky feet. Who yep. do you trust not to roll a one on a one d eight? Don't do that for me. I was rolling shit. <laughs> I'll give it a go. I was about to say I'm gonna have to. One of you guys give me a d eight. Oh, give me a d eight. Is Cindy rolling it or am I rolling it? I don't care. I thought you were rolling it. Okay, okay. go ahead. Hey, I looked. Oh, I didn't roll a one. Okay, cool. Goodness Not gracious, my one. guy. Was it as two? he's sitting down, uh, or or <laughs> squatting down, or doing whatever he needs to do for his his ritual cast? You do kind of hear some some movement through the brush nearby as a large bear just kind of clambering past you, kind of huffing. Rrr, 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 rrr. You know, bear just just moves past you, kind of doesn't even seem to take notice of you. <laughs> About twenty feet away is 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 you, when you notice first hear it and then and notice the smell of that deep musky ass. If you had never been around a bear, you'll know when you it'd be like, "What's that smell?" If you're out yeah. around the woods, does that hit you? You're up. <laughs> just go away from it. <laughs> it's not me this run time. Towards, run towards yeah. the fresh air. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh. <clears throat> Lions, tigers, and bears. Who mixed with oh, mud, mixed with musk, man. Gross. That's generally what I smell like, but it's not me this time. All right. <laughs> oh. So, um, you stay, you're able to hang loose. And, yeah, you cast Comprehend Languages. You now are able to read and understand it. And it just says, and thanks to those that give life and those that recover the ruled from the creations of mortals we make our offerings here so that we may enter the homeland of our patrons i put a mushroom on the altar guys okay. i think we must sacrifice an animal here bring me that <laughs> bear. Uh, the, the wallaby hey, 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 hey. <laughs> there's, there's a, there's bring a me that bear you can grab <laughs> There's a vulture nearby that got away that you can grab. Do you know where it went? Because I've been standing here this entire time. We can try. You fighting. guys kind of hear a voice from behind. Oh, at least you're not dead. As as Yvonne is standing behind you. What's the uh, delay? What's the holdup, guys? Are we okay? General, we were just about to sacrifice an animal on this altar. Why? It says so. Because the must <laughs> work. It told me to. I told you to follow the road. You didn't. This, the rock told me to. You didn't specify which road either. So, and there's okay, two. That's, that's on me. Um, but you know the road keeps going from here, right? From where you stopped. 
But no, if you want to sacrifice no, something, please feel free. Feel free. Yeah. Well, um, I'm here. Wait, 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 like, is it no, necessary, kind of... or can we just keep walking? Because we don't really want to sacrifice any animals. Oh, I'm, the, I'm like trying to like reach <laughs> over and grab. He's, 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 he's mid wrestling with Reginald. The Reginald's like got the big old fucking rabbit feet on him, going no, 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 no. no. <laughs> no, Ed, Ad, Adamok is leaning against the wall, kind of amused, saying, "No, we just we keep walking. No. Uh, if you if we you pass your test of strength." Door. Or no, we've got to go swimming to get the next... At least as far as I know, we have to swim for the next door. Oh. Good Pardon? thing I don't need to breathe. What? Time. What? Swim? Is that not okay? I don't know. Hold your breath, never... you'll be fine. I'll just walk along the bottom. I don't... I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever swam. Mm. Like, there's not yeah. enough... The beaver can hold its breath. I cannot. Yeah, I am not a beaver. I'm a and rabbit. And it's, if it's not drinkable, it's gross. I mean, why would you? You need to spit. You need to go either to the great gymnasium or the other place next time you get some free time and some free uh, coin. They have lovely spas and 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 swimming places. <laughs> the I don't YMCA. like them. <laughs> I see. Young man. <laughs> if you if if you're not rich enough to own a bathtub in Sigil, that's the only place you're gonna get yourself clean. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, the digitation. And the Y is or Presto, awesome, yeah. Hell yeah. A, tr well, we have a trans one. dimensional YMCA. Yeah. We have like one at the fins. I need it to be exactly that, by the way. You open a door and you just enter a Y like a modern day YMCA and that's all it is. <laughs> and about half well, the time Nita lets me take her turn, so <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Unless you unless you want to finish sacrificing your, your uh I mean, no, I can't allow that to happen. Commander right. Commander looks over at them and says, Come on guys. I can't, I can't allow that to happen. I need to The oh. superior is here. Yes, Commander. Yeah. So you guys continue following the trail further into the ruins. Can you tell Adam to be nice to me? I can hear you. <laughs> I am being nice. I'm just being efficient. And as you get deeper into the, the ruins following the road, it seems to widen up. The ruins are, are more scattered and more broke up, and, and you can hear some large creatures moving about. Adamok just begins walking forward. Little fair one. Bears in these woods. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm gonna bear. just walk along with Good. her this time. Yeah. Anyone 100%. got bear mace? I no. do not own a mace. I apologize. A hey, bear comes. A hey, bear. A bear comes walking Tomorrow. up, and kind of growling, and and you know, does the <laughs> I'm a big bear kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, everyone's walking like that right now. <laughs> Sexy Yaga. I'm big. Girl, look at me. I'm, I'm big, big too. I'm not really. I just. Take the beaver as tribute. Yeah. So. I make so sure I, I, I don't think this is going to work for me. Ooh. <laughs> you start to give off an extra cloud of. Oh, oh an extra me. cloud of you spore. <laughs> <laughs> and, and everyone notices a strange sour odor surround them. Even the bear is like, Arr! Arr! <laughs> and uh, Adamok no, passes by. The the bear is scowling at you, ready to attack, uh, but is not moving. What are we going to do? Walk past it. Yeah, let's just walk past it. Yep. Let's just act like we belong here. I'm Give walking to. I'm, I'm walking with my cane. I'm walking Take here. Take that one as tribute. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> This map is such a wonderful work of art, and you guys actually don't want to fight anything on it? Bet you want us to fight? Sure. No. I don't want... I want you to be smart. I want you to use your damn brain, and you're doing it. But I'm also going, oh, man, that makes me sad. I should have used this one for the first fight. <laughs> it is a That's beautiful cool. map, by the all way. All maps, will, by the way, all maps will be... The, anything that you watch on the stream, I'll have it available on Patreon and Etsy probably the following quick session. Plug. Yeah, quick... Fuck yeah, quick plug. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah. <laughs> So you guys pass through the ruins without much of an issue. The bears are kind of, there's a few large bears moving around. Big bears. I mean, like Kodiak size. Oh. And you, you're probably, mm. maybe. I was a drop bears. Gotcha. It's me. I'm the yep. bear. 
I'm gonna make a drop bear for my campaign, by the way. And you make your <laughs> way. I'm fucking drop bear. Just, just reskin it to Rask. All right. <laughs> Do y'all need tokens? Do you want me to put the grid down, or can we just use abstract for right now, because you've arrived at four? Yeah. I mean, abstract's fine as long as we're not, like, yeah. getting into combat. Well, if we have yeah, to get into sure. combat, I can, can lay a grid down. drop the grid in, but oh my gosh, because this map is fucking huge. There's definitely something in that water. Holy Lord. shit! Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I don't think I, you want to put the grid. It's that, that, just immediately that. fucking chugs. <laughs> this looks like a beehive. Oh, the PC just starts yeah. revving. Wow. Yeah, I'm, just, like I'm just glad I'm able to render a full grid for a 1,000 foot by 1,000 foot battle map. Why my shit. PC sound Why like a plane taking off? Why does it keep going <laughs> That's my PlayStation, head? dude. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, it's yes, we can. Well. It, once I get it locked in, we're great. Okay. We can still fight it out, man. Hopefully, we don't need to, though. Makes everything look very pixely. Yeah, that's why I'm turning it off right now. If we, it looks, uh, it looks if like we need it, if we need it, it's there. Okay. So you've arrived in Faunal. What time is it? Yes, this is bird's eye view of it. You guys are coming in from down here on this side. Uh, as you move in, the first thing you notice is large, uh, a big tower off to your left, and, I'm and just covered in books, man. Covered in vines, uh, trees everywhere, piles of rubble here and there. The building off to your right just seems to be the, the ruins of a structure overgrown with vines. And as you look around a little bit farther, it seems to repeat through most of the village. You see some columns of smoke rising. Immediately as you approach, you see uh, it looks like kind of a satyr. Only extra, extra hairy. And a, a human starts walking towards you, and the human's got like paws on on one he's got a, a freaking wolf paw on one hand and you know and he's kind of struggling to to balance the spear that oh, he's no. holding as they approach you it's the two of you that are from sigil recognize um the the sign on him as these are signers part of the uh the the, the believers in the one the, the sources that were um the guys that believe that the world is the universe is generated through someone's beliefs and if, hmm. for all we know, we're all walking around in someone else's manifested reality, and that becomes the strongest reality, and that is. Jesus. They idolize the idea of animals because they believe animals are the epitome of, of self-belief. If they, their simple existence belies everything, hmm. you know? I mean, how does an animal transcend to an extra plane if it doesn't truly speak or function in any way people do? You know, their existence is oblivious to anything other than their own world. If it doesn't affect them on that trifecta, then it doesn't exist. So to the signers, that's kind of the epitome of, of existence. Gotcha. Okay. Makes sense. Oh. Doesn't, Nita but it's an interesting concept. I'm sorry? Nita just gets big again. Uh, she does not know what to do anymore. She is very confused <laughs> about life itself. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing... So yeah, the 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 the, the satyr guard and the the human just kind of he's <clears throat> he's looks like as you get closer to him, big fucking beard like the kind that like creeps up onto your cheek, cheeks, you know that you hate when them hairs get up there if you got a beard and uh, looks like he got too much chest hair and and he he looks fit but he's walking with kind of a limp. And the closer you get, you definitely notice that's a freaking straight up paw. That's not even like a null paw. That's like a dog paw on his left hand. Um, do you say woof? No. He <laughs> says, uh, foo. <laughs> <laughs> so they, you guys approach, and, and they immediately start scowling at, uh, at Adamok and kind of oh. looking at the rest of you. Uh, you like I said, you can hear the a little bit of chatter if you, you know, you're, you're in a living area, as it were, kind of a, of a town, at least you think you are. The ruins of a town. You were told to expect a town here, but this looks like a set of ruins as the guard catches you. And what's your business? The portal's closed. We are following the general. And we... she just kind of does a a heavy sigh and uh, <laughs> I have business with Siraz. Pass on through. And, you know, as you guys are getting there, it's it's getting a little bit later in the day. 
Uh, you move in through the the area the the outer buildings, as it were, and towards the plaza. The first thing you notice is a large lake. Situated in the middle of that lake is about a one hundred foot tall stone, maybe even metallic statue, standing there with a blades across its chest. You're not sure. Definitely a boss battle in that lake. And you can kind of see off behind it. There's a, a a glimmer, a glimmer of a a almost looks like a storm of lightning at the bottom of the lake, kind of that you can see it flashing from behind the large statues. You guys walk into the middle of the the courtyard. Surrounding the lake, there's several campfires. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said I don't think that guy knows what he was talking about. That portal is clearly open. <laughs> Um, there's a large temple off to your right, a few guards around it, several, uh, Reginald and, and Tiki, you guys almost feel, I mean, everyone, you guys are looking around, it really looks like an enlarged version of the refugee camp that you just, that you first met these two at. Uh, the second thing that jumps out at you is, is, well, a very obvious thing is, as a little guy, a little kid goes running by, you're not sure... Uh, what race he is? He looks kind of human, maybe elfish, but he's got a a fox tail poking up and over the, the you know kind of trailing out from underneath his tunic as he just runs by chasing oh. another another kid. Weird. Uh, just a full grown, big old, uh, just a foot and a half, two foot long fox tail hanging off of this kid as it runs by. Was that a kind of I, I know it. I lean over to Addy and I'm just like, what in the hibbity hop is happening? Right. I don't know. Clearly, they have decided and to they... upgrade themselves. Definitely not something you see every day. I don't. I don't know if, if humans or elves I, or, or they believed like... it, so it manifested. Okay. <laughs> I just I'm look just... over at Adam and I'm like, I mean, would you not prefer to have claws well, on your hands to shoot you damage? Me. Look at look at him. He was clearly a human before he became a wallaby. Oh no! I was always like this. You manifested it. Don't lie to yourself. I... It's not healthy. So, you notice that that the the quick change from daylight transitioning into the evening seems to be a, upon you pretty quick. It's it's. I mean, honestly, it's like straight up like the damn movies, the cartoons, like this close to the damn portal. I mean, it, it's uh, you're standing there. It's like, I, I'm no bullshit. It was literally just freaking daytime, not 12 seconds ago. Now it's freaking evening. What the hell's going on? But uh, hopefully, on your third day here, you're kind of maybe getting used to it. But uh, you know, uh, Adam Ock has has stepped off talking to a couple other people. Everyone seems very standoffish. You know, wherever she moves, it's like a crowd moved in to see all the weird people, especially the metal people. But as she moves through the crowd, the crowd gives her some space. But then they're crowding around you. You you look down and and um, Reginald notices a little girl, um, probably elvish, maybe. It's hard to tell because her ears have started curving up and they look rabbit ears. And she's tugging on her mama next to her, pointing at you, going, "Mama, mama, oh. is that what I'm going to? Is that going to happen to me? Is that what I'm going okay. to turn it?" And the mom's like, "Oh, just just calm. It's okay. I'm so sorry, Mister Reginald. For, forgive us for that." Yeah, and as you're looking through this crowd, every person in here, save a lizard folk, seems to be the only guy that's been, you know, unaffected. But you see animal features, like a guy standing there, and his face has kind of got a uh, some tusks growing up out of it. As his nose starts ah, he's turning turn off and out, um, you know, a couple dudes are walking around without shoes because they got big ass bare feet. You know, like not bare feet, but bare feet. Well, both bare feet that are bare. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> The, the whole... -E -B -E -A -R feet. Bear, bear feet. Yes, I'm we bear honest. bears. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. An elf whose ears have grown so long that they're almost rabbit ears is probably one of the most disgusting images I've ever thought about. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to this. No, stop saying that. You're gonna scare the kids. So... so I, I, I look at the lady that just spoke to Reginald, and I said. Did she, did her ears not always look like that? None of us look like this till the last few days, maybe the last week to ten days since things have been going crazy in Kriggalar. Uh, 
in uh, in the beast lands we, we, we all left signposts because it's just getting so dangerous and you know any of us said i mean normally you're you're being near the beast lands is is you feel the effects of it but you don't become a beast oh my gosh and she's, i mean she's like this is this is insane horrifying and you know be proud she's you, you can tell that she's keeping her her sleeves down be proud what be proud you have upgraded Upgraded to what? Look at how large your ears are. Clearly, your hearing has has increased. Now you will Mama, be Mama, I didn't you die. want long ears my whole life. Mama, I didn't want to be a giant rabbit. Mama. Eventually, you will eventually maybe look like us if you upgrade enough. Hmm. Optimal just, weapons of war. I'm just gonna hop away away from this conversation. <laughs> 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 They're gonna get in trouble. I'm oh. gonna go away. <laughs> so, so this I uh, giant, like almost seven foot tall guy, just leaning down to this child talking. <laughs> <laughs> so meanwhile, Adamok returns, and there's another one of the signer guards with her, and and he's kind of looking at 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 them, and and she looks, so he looks over at Adamok and say, "Did they just not finish growing those ones before they let them out, or what?" Blink, blink. She kind of snickers. She kind of snickers. She says, "They're they're not of my kind. They're interesting, but they're not anywhere near as efficient as as the bladeling design." I can only hope to be as efficient as you one day, General. I'm sorry. I whispered to Addy, "Is this what happened to that tiger dude at, at the bar?" Maybe. I don't. Um... Is it going to happen to us? I believe he was some kind of lycanthrope. I believe yeah, that I this will happen to any organic based life form. Have fun. Now you will yeah, be becoming a animal person that lives for 400 years or more. Think you about just it. see it. So I asked you like, have been I given asked great asked news. How think long have it. you guys been here? I think I'm fine. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting You're going well, I mean, to become a human again. I've lived in 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 Signpost. I don't know two dozen. She's been there her whole life, but it's just you know been getting really strange the last ten, maybe fifteen days at the most. I mean, it's oh okay, yeah. it's the beast lands. <laughs> you you never can tell. Sometimes it rains for what you think is. Well, how do you measure a day in Kurgala? And one of the other guys starts chuckling. How do you measure a day in the land of eternal sun? That's a good question. Uh, uh, By the hour. Sometimes I would forever. Assume. Potentially. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, lately the, the, the creatures have been coming, beginning a lot more territorial, a lot more aggressive. But anyway, um, I, need, I need to get my daughter away for, for, get them to dinner. And the crowd is kind of starting to disperse as Adamok has returned. And they're like, oh, they're with the hunter. Her, 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 her. Oh, well, yeah, no, well, like let's do better than her. The crowd. He didn't finish <laughs> with the other, that other shiny guy, and, you know, I don't know, whatever. I didn't get to do so, my show. God damn it. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, yeah, 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 Adamok has enough to deal with you know, it. Yeah. Adamok moves up, moves in, and says, uh, they said we can stay in some of the ruins over there. Um, I've got to meet with my contact tomorrow, and hopefully you guys will uh, will be okay from that point for a little while anyway. Uh, but make yourselves at home. It's as safe as you're going to be as long as you don't go causing your own trouble. Um, don't mess with wrath. And she kind of points at the lake. Is there His name is wrath. Oh, the lake's name is wrath. Yeah, okay. the, the the giant standing guard in the lake is wrath. Oh, oh. that's not a statue. What happens if one of the other lesser people were to Try and mess with it. Not us, because we obey orders. Well, you would likely either end up splattered if you became aggressive with him. If he did not like your answer, you wouldn't return back through the Beastlands. I see. Wrath makes sure it's a one-way trip if he's not satisfied with your answer. <laughs> what is your favorite color? <laughs> 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 Did you say Periwinkle? You may pass. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you guys are settled in. Um, you know, she says just you're safe here. I need to see if um apparently a lot of refugees, one of my 
few local associates might be out here. I'm not sure, but please make yourselves at home. Uh, don't wander back into the ruins at night. Uh, what happens at night? I just imagine the, I the big to... predators come out. Oh, I see. Wallaby, you'll have to be in a safe spot. I'm not standing next to you. I'm on, like, top of a crate doing magic tricks to the folks in the town. Oh, I just right, look cool. to speak and you're not there. Yeah. Yeah, he looks and he's over there, you know, hey. Come one, come I, I still all. say it, so I just don't say it loud enough for you to hear now. Come on, come on. <laughs> just doing card tricks. and Yeah, and, and within a couple stuff. minutes of you doing that, you know, the kids kind of come back up and even the little girl that has the rabbit ears is... is amongst the six kids that are standing there and a couple parents and you're doing whatever little tricks you are and you, after a couple minutes you've got them giggling and pointing and, and what you're used to you're kind of yeah. feeling your thing being the street musician having some fun entertaining you know and and the rest of the you know they there's enjoying mr heron gone and you know kind of mystified by the thrycreen and and just just giving shit looks to them to the metal boys um but you know kind of if expecting the, the 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 druid ladies to start sprouting hooves and tails and stuff like that before too long. Do you think they? I just they, walk around giving everybody a flower. Do you think that they made the mm -hmm. heron guns name a pun on purpose? Here and gone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One hundred percent. I just now realized that. Yep. Hair, I don't. Heron gone. Hair today, gone tomorrow. Heron gone. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, we've got about twenty minutes left. If you guys want to go socialize, ask around, see, check with any of the locals, any of the refugees, or if you want to wait, then we can put you into a long rest mode or, or long rest state. You're not going to sleep. No one sleeps. God damn it. Um, actually, Phil does. No, I don't. Half of us sleep. Do. We do sleep. We just our dreams are different. Yeah, our dreams are different. It, it, like... you under, I, I, I'm, I, yeah, you're right. It doesn't matter. That the, that complete part of the campaign. This is If you're catching us at home or later on a stream, this is a perfect example of having to rewrite 80% of an adventure because, because the mechanics that the adventure depended on do not work with the party you're playing. So, you know, perfect example of having some cool content and having to throw 90% of it away to make it worth, worth what you got. But you end up with something better at the end, so it's all good, because I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, man. That's part of DMing, dude. That's part of D&D. Yeah. &D. You have the best, played la la best laid plans that go awry because, you know, you want to have fun with your characters, so you don't stick to the rule of law. You know, like I said, this, you know, this is a behind-the-scenes thing. Everything was predicated on them following the tiger, which they didn't do. The next fallback hook was them following the Mercy Killer to find the three missing guys, which they completely ignored. The next fallback was having them spend seven to ten days in Sigil, experiencing all of this, which would not work. The next fallback was having them experience some things in dream sequences, which they cannot do. <laughs> and we're still where we need to be. In any normal situation, you throw this campaign away and you start over. But we're where we need to be despite all of the, the, the first six sessions of <laughs> I'm sorry that we always make your job so DMs, harder. DMs take faith take faith brothers they can miss every hook and you can still make it work just keep the spirit of the game learn what your characters enjoy learn who they are and build from there instead man hey no big deals so y'all hanging at night here I'm sorry oh no, it's all good you guys want to go chit chat with people or do you want to just click over to next day this is a safe enough area this is your time, your hands. A lot of refugees that have been living in the, the beast lands for a little bit, or you can just huddle around the fire and wait for instructions. I personally wouldn't mind spotting what one of the bigger predators look like that come roaming in. Not interacting with one of them, just want to know what might be causing problems later. <laughs> That's the only thing on my agenda. Okay. You'll need yeah. to head back into the ruins, which will put you subject to interacting with them. So, mm -hmm. if you want to do yeah, that, but that then... that's at night time. So we still got time before it's like that time. We'll save that for next. We'll we'll save that encounter for next session. Yeah. Well, we we're just okay. Just so we know, we're not advancing the the long rest. We're gonna go fight predators, uh, in the ruins in, oh. in the middle of the night. So. Well, I mean, I don't know about. But we fighting. have a few minutes while we're here yeah, to get that in in, well. 
Yeah, I just want to think I, I have warned you. Yeah, and they're good. They're predators. You're roaming around as a nothing in the ruins. They're going to aggro you. That's what I'm trying to warn you on. So if that's what we want to do, that's cool. Don't set your long rests up yet. Okay. So if you guys want to chit chat a little bit, we don't have enough time to start that encounter. Uh, this session, we'll save that to start the next. But you do have enough time to hang around and chit chat with the folks if you want. We got enough time to uh, short rest? Short rest would be appreciated. It's up to y'all. Short rest is an hour. Yeah, it's safe enough to do a short rest. So, short. Okay, that means I can get my so I'm walking back. around giving people flowers. Can you maybe describe a few of the people that I'm walking up to? I sure can. Um, you, you see a a human. Um, he seems kind of minotaurish, but not quite. I mean, if you were to guess, he's well on his way to looking like a walking cow, not like a big buff fucking badass tarn, but like big old portly belly <laughs> like my like Mushu from from Kung Pao looking cow. <laughs> hey. uh, you see you you notice a little girl with the rabbit ears. Um something that jumps out immediately is a dwarf that looks like it's been crossed with a hedgehog man. His he, his hair and his beard have been replaced by just sharp multicolored dark white spikes. He just looks pissed off. That's bad as fuck. Um, I'm into that. <laughs> I'm, walking to, I'm walking up to that guy with a flower and I say hi I, you just seem like you're having a really damn bad day and I just wanted to cheer you up I'm sorry that it's so hard. it looks like I'm on my way to a bad, bad life for crying out loud well um, I mean yeah, I, you just... I've poked myself with my beard a half a dozen times trying to bend over to eat for crying out loud this is horrifying that is horrifying I'm so sorry how long, have, how long oh. has it been happening Oh, maybe over the course of four days, my my normal hair fell out and the spines grew in. How long have you been here? Like, are you from here, or did you are you traveling? Just traveling, trading. Yeah, where did you come from? Sigil? No. Or another plane? Bytopia. Bito oh, Trade Gate. Okay. okay. Hey, is this the first time you've ever been here? No. I would never no. I've been here several times. We have a, a booming business with some some fellows deeper in the uh in the layers. Okay. Down in Kara Sufra. Well, we're here with someone that's very, very powerful and um Yeah, I saw you come in with the hunter. On. Yeah, maybe maybe we can figure out what's going on and help you guys feel better. No one knows. They say the animals have gone mad. Yeah, it's happening in the city, too. But it's not supposed to turn us into these beasts. And someone's like, yeah, hey, watch what you're cute. saying. As, a, as you see a lizard man kind of kick back. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm existing here, huh? I look over at him and I say, well, did he start off like that? No, he's been here a long time like that. But he didn't turn into that. That's just what he looks like normally. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a few extra frills, a few extra spikes, but that's about it. Okay. Um, all right. Well, um, I just kind of do like an awkward, you know, shoulder pat because I don't really know <laughs> where it is without. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else yeah. want to jump in and, and do any interviews, RPs, clue digging, anything? Or. We're live on the scene. At... <laughs> yeah, I'm having a short rest with Book, I think. So. Okay. They're just okay. sitting there I'm quietly, not talking to each other, just staring directly into each other's eyes. <laughs> I definitely am the third wheel in that short rest. And what, are you, just... what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Tiki? <laughs> oh, I am. I'm making jewelry for the little little mutts that are running around. <laughs> you, so you and you Jesus. and uh, the little mutts. <laughs> Damn, that's that's rude. She, she and Reginald are putting on a carnival. Like a carnival road. Yeah, she says, "Here you go, you little mutant child." <laughs> I'm so sorry that you looked that fucked up. Luckily, they can't understand a word that you're saying. 
with the bunny ears are so in right now. Look at mine. <laughs> so these two are having a, a having a nice time hanging out, playing with the kids, entertaining. Uh, and Addie is working the crowd. Um, are you talking to the lizard folk, or are you just you left Grunval the dwarf um, as he identified himself, and and uh, that's where you're at. These two are in. Cindy's oh, you're muted. Muted. You're, muted. you're muted. You're muted. You're muted. I'm sorry. I had a coughing fit. <clears throat> sorry. So, um, East Texas wrecks my lungs. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> Fair. So, yeah. Walking over to the lizard guy. <clears throat> I say, um, so, hi. And I hand him a flower. It's nice to meet you. And he, you see him kind of twist, twiddle, twiddle his fingers and he hands you back a, a, another flower. You immediately recognize it as kind of a swamp. Not, not non-native, but a swamp flower. And hello to you. Oh, this is beautiful. How you doing? Mm. <laughs> <Not kind of>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it ain't. It. It's his tongue. His tongue shoots out. Oh, his no. eyebrows are. No. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, what that um, tongue do though? <laughs> no, just no. <laughs> Um, so anyway, uh, so, um, is it is it true that like none of this weirdness is affecting you? Is it, well, I got is it extra, you ask that? Well, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I got these cool little elbow spikes going on now, and yeah, my arm feels has gotten a little bit bigger. It's kind of nice, but that's about it. Okay, I'm feeling really confident. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm looking good, dude. I can't <laughs> wait to get back to the swamp, yo. <laughs> 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 Man, this is gonna be lit. <laughs> I mean, he says, "Check this shit." And he flexes, and you see his big old back spine like go like Godzilla mode for oh, a second. God. Yeah, huh? you like what you see. <laughs> you like what you see, hey, man. <laughs> Very impressive. I'm sure he is colorful and spiny and spiky and loud and proud, man. <laughs> Rills out. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Straight up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See how big my yeah. my frills is. You muted again. <laughs> is, Dig the spines, yo! I bet that you so as he's just, uh, as he's basically finished his mating dance in front of you, <laughs> I'm looking over at Nita <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out where. I'm just like, where are my people? I need an adult. <laughs> yeah, these two are in shutdown mode. Tiki and, and Reginald are watching, kind of giggling, playing with the the kids as this. <laughs> Yo, baby, check that tail, like that spine. <laughs> check my pics. Wow. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he's like, name Sestrak. Uh, I'm, I'm... <laughs> I do believe they won't, I need to get back in, man. Yeah. I got I to gotta free, I gotta I mean, free I my just... power. You got to what? I got to petition my powers, man. We need them back on Faerun. Just in your what? My powers, my deity, the big man, yo. Oh, okay. Okay, then. Well, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this man talking like a fucking... Where you going, girl? Yeah, oh. like, what's up? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the third one today. Stranger danger. Yeah, dragon chick. What's up? You like what you see? As <laughs> a dragon born just walks by, flips him a claw, and keeps Ooh, going. Bro, I got scales too. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so. Stop, okay? <laughs> so you make yeah. it back to your group. Um, it's been about 45 minutes, pushing on an hour. Anyone that took a short period this time to take a short rest. <laughs> Apply whatever numbers you want to apply. If you were entertaining the crowd, unfortunately, you were not available for your short rest. Nothing stopping you from taking one now or sitting out the, the exploration <laughs> into the <laughs> darkened ruins. It's up to y'all. How did you go, Wallaby? Did you make money? I don't know. Did, did they tip the me? Point. I don't think they did. This is a ruin town. I don't think they have any money. Yeah, you That's aren't getting tips. They pay you in animal droppings. <laughs> you were paid you were paid with the smiles and the good cheers of an otherwise miserable and tormented group of children and families that were raiding running from some sort of strangeness in their normal home. It's not That's like not children would do I much share in with everybody the chaos donut. I, I'm sorry, what? I said it's not like the children would do much in the chaos donut. They're not from the chaos donut. <laughs> we're throwing stones at puddles. Mm -hmm. Those puddles deserved it. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, share, I share with everybody what the dwarf and the uh, lizard guy told me, and I'm like, I, for some reason, apparently, whatever's going on with everybody else, it doesn't affect the lizard people nearly as much. I wonder why. I wonder <laughs> if it's because they're cold-blooded. Or maybe because they're already, you know, beast folk. They're That's already, you know, animals. Out of, they're not. Out of character, they're I would assume creatures. that it, it increases the traits of people who are already beast. That's what I yeah. would assume. Yeah. So what would happen to a young tea? Be Water! Depending on, depending on where it was in its, its, its cycle, it would either oh, get stronger or weaker. Cool. Well, it depends on what it was. If it was a pure blood, it would be, get weaker as it, What's or it would become dumber as it became I'm more of its base race. I told you you're going to become human again. I was no, never human. Stop yeah, lying right. to yourself. Am I going to grow, grow another be, rabbit foot? To be... <laughs> gonna be free. You times. did notice, Reginald, that your hops I got seem a little hops. longer. It oh, didn't, you know. Yeah, there's a little bit more pep in your step as you're going on. You feel, man, you're like, this is kind of a nice place. You feel a little bit more energetic. You feel a little bit more. You noticed even as you're twirling the your your cards around that that sometimes you were able to do some of your harder tricks that you sometimes weren't afraid to really confidently. Just like, damn, I feel like I've been practicing this shit. Just you feel with it and 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 tiki. Um, you know, you've noticed that your your coloration is is starting to the you know the the pattern on your shell, the pattern on your carpus is is becoming a little more. What's your normal color? Emerald like green, iridescent right? Teal. Iridescent yeah. teal. So you got yeah, you're seeing a little bit more kind of a, a, a almost a flushing rainbowing effect to some of the car paces, and you're able to shift it really quickly. Your normal chameleon. Stuff takes you know it, you're the chameleon like powers that comes with your 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 being a thrycreen. Um, it's like it's almost like your legs are shifting colors to match the ground you're standing on without you even thinking of it. Little things like that you're noticing. Hey, yo, can we stick no, just... <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. But uh, yeah. So the long rest is is the short rest is set up. We have five minutes left. On Friday nights, we usually do a hard stop at 11 because uh, one of our players has a, I mean, great sport. He's got to jump off of this sucker and go right to another game. That's some that's some dedication to our stuff and some love for D&D &D right there. Oh, yeah. So we're going to pause oh, here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, both of y'all do. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Phil yeah. and, oh, all right, you guys kicking some ass. So, uh, um, oh, wow. so Reginald is feeling peppy and a little bit more jumpy and, and dexterous and, and, uh, and and Tiki is feeling a little bit more colorful, and a little more spry, and a little stronger as well. Um, our 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 two Kalashtar are feeling itchy. You're like, damn, why am I itchy all over the place? Like you know when you you, you like right after you shave, itchy. I don't oh, I don't that like sucks. that. That's what happened to Tiger Man. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Uh, your skin's kind of feeling itchy. Your hair's grown an inch or two since you've been out here, you notice. You know, it's one of those things that I thought I needed. You have a mustache yeah. going on. <laughs> I am not growing facial hair, too? Or? <laughs> no, you just notice your hair has gotten longer and you're feeling kind of itchy and, and uncomfortable, kind of hot. You know, kind of, kind of always, it's like, damn, it's hot. And it's not. It's cool. It's a nice 60 ish, 62 degree midsummer evening, low humidity, calm, sweet air. If it wasn't for all the refugees and the gigantic statue standing in the middle of the water, then occasionally it will turn and say, You'll hear it booming, no, denied. <laughs> Everyone, <you> Rejected. <laughs> you may not. Can we go down in the water as long as we don't get near Wrath? Give it I a feel try. Like it's key. Why would you want to rust yourself? I Again, actually have... want a bath. <laughs> that's it. You, you know, it's that's shit's getting real when she needs a bath. Okay, we need to go to the river. <laughs> <laughs> I will attend. <laughs> sure so, um... creeps. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Oh, Lord of mercy. <laughs> All right. So uh, on that note, ladies and gents, players, thank you so much for, for coming in and bringing it and being ready to play tonight. Um, guys and gals at home, thank you for joining us, whether you're catching us live on Twitch or whether you're check, catching, catching up with us on YouTube later. We appreciate the time you're sharing with us. This is the end of our session for now. Next week, we will pick up with a night jaunt back out into the ruins because mm. curiosity is going to kill the cat someday. Um, <clears throat> why not today, right? So, um, no, we're just going to stay uh, on the very tune in next. And we'll run back. Tune in next Friday it. for the for for our potential uh, uh, run in with the night predators that they were warned to avoid. They were warned to not go to the ruins. So we'll see how this manifests itself. Uh, but. Thank you so much for joining us, guys and gals. Thank you so much for playing. We appreciate y'all. And we are out of here. See you later, guys. Bye, everyone. Butchel right. TV slash pit. Oh. <laughs> oh, I already oh, paused yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I didn't plug Follow. shit, y'all. I didn't even plug my own stuff in that. We are, we are good people. I knew right. it was like 10.50. Oh.